So when you've got a pile of tourmaline like this, it's going to be made into gemstone beads. First of all, each one of these gemstones need to be inspected. A line is then drawn down the middle of the gemstone or wherever the gem is going to be faceted, and it's then taken behind us and then faceted into these rough gem shapes. Once each gemstone has been cut into the amount of pieces it needs to be, it's then time to shape the gemstones. These gentlemen are working on anything from a round to a pear shape, pretty much any cut imaginable. The next process is polishing and faceting, and this takes a huge amount of skill. It can take years for a lapidus to be able to facet like this, and each one of the gemstones can take up to 10 minutes to cut. A really lengthy but incredible process. The next stage of the process is really interesting. This is where each one of the gemstones is drilled. And what Sanjay is doing here is putting a drill through faceted beads of black tourmaline. The next stage after drilling is then to get the gemstones sorted into their appropriate colours and sizes. This can be a really, really lengthy process. Once the gemstones are sorted into different colours and sizes, they're then arranged into these strands and made into strands like this. Now each one of these gemstones could have gone through a 30 to 40 minute process to arrive on a strand like this. It's really quite incredible. If there's one thing that my time in India has taught me, it's the hours of dedicated time that goes into making each one of the gemstones we sell on Jewelry Maker. Hello and welcome to today's wonderful designer inspiration show where I am quite literally for the first ever time lost for actual words. You're watching Jewelry Maker and you are about to learn how to create these amazing. Who's Vivian Westwood? Alison Terry is what it is all about. Look at these. Ah! I am about to introduce the wonderful, the exceptional, the outstanding designer that is Alison Tarry. Have a look at what we're going to look to achieving today absolutely wonderful wire work shoes we've taken my shoes as a base and Alison has terrified them <laughs> and they're pretty blooming terrifying aren't they absolutely gorgeous it's all about fashion today and we are utterly delighted these will be is she normally this amazing? She's always amazing. You know something, if you're watching us for the first ever time, uh, we are all about jewellery making and crafting with genuine gemstones. That is our passion. Now, if you're thinking, I'd love to do that, I'm not really that crafty, or maybe you are a little bit crafty and you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I want to be crafty, but it's not painting for me, it's not sculpting for me. I have got a whole host of genres in crafting for you. I'm going to give you, with your very first order, a free tutorial DVD. You're going to get a free step-by-step -step book and a JM Hub magazine. So anything we're doing today, please don't think that you can't have a go at home. We've got loads of support on Facebook, so uh, click to like our Facebook page, Jewelry Maker. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is YouTube forward slash Jewelry Maker UK. We've got loads of free tutorial downloads, and don't forget you do get a free tutorial DVD with your very first order, a Get Started book, and every month through your door, you're going to get the latest trends. 
We are a family-run company and we have uh, some sister channels. Check us out on Gems TV and gemporia.com. It's all about genuine gemstones. And today, it's all about the gorgeous Alison Tarry. Everybody, welcome. The terrifying Ooh. Tarry. <laughs> Here she is, everybody, fresh from the barge. Indeed, what a build-up. Wow. <laughs> I'll have to go on holiday more often. <laughs> I love this lady and I love her mum too. Uh, now, I did mention uh, Lady Tara's mummy. What's your mum's Pamela. name? Pa Pamela. Pamela Howe. Of course it is. Pamela. Pamela, Pamela Howe. Yes. Uh, Pamela uh, sent my son some S clips for his loom bands, of which he absolutely loves you for. And all of his friends are going, oh, where'd you get them? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> back off <laughs> now uh, we are going to learn how to do the shoe Alison Tarry um, now I might be a little bit familiar with wire work I'm not an expert will I be able to do this yeah you will there's some there's some bits that are a bit fiddly you just have to take your time just take your time a bit like a bit like sewing really yeah yeah just just take your time and take it easy we have got loads of exciting things We've got some amazing charms for you today mm. we've got all the wire that you need we have got brand new bundles and we have got awesome strands. We've got absolutely loads. And of course, we've got Alison Terry. If you've got any questions whatsoever for Alison, then you know what to do. Drop us a text. The text number from a UK mobile phone is 60777. Please start your text message with the one word JM Studio or one word. Otherwise, it floats around. Who knows where it goes? <laughs> Nowhere. It's like, mm. uh, or you can do it for free. All the W's.jurymaker.com, click watch us live and then send a message to studio. Uh, now, do keep it interactive with us today. There are two ways you can order. On the phone lines, there's a free phone number from a UK landline. Now, uh, you can order online as well. If you're shopping from abroad of the UK, click on the right hand side of your menu. There's a drop down menu uh, to uh, change your currency. We're already getting loads of text messages in. Thank you so much. Um, Patricia says, I want the shoes. <laughs> 2,000 pounds and they're yours, Patricia. <laughs> oh, I could auction these off. No way. No <laughs> way. Lisa says, Would, uh, uh, wow, Alison, those shoes are incredible. Your endless talent never ceases to amaze. Really looking forward to seeing how it's done. Lisa, we're going to give you every element to do that. And you can watch us on YouTube afterwards. Uh, all you got to do is grab the kit and you're away. Sue in Essex, you have got to be kidding. I want Cinderella shoes. I love it. So I do that in an Essex accent. You've got to be kidding, shut up. <laughs> uh, Sissy says, Alison, you have outdone yourself. You're the best in the wild work that I've ever seen. Uh, I need the DVD on this project. You don't need DVD, you just go on. Sissy, I love you. Go <laughs> onto YouTube afterwards, Sissy. Click, because uh, it's all going to be on YouTube. It's a, it's a designer inspiration show. Uh, thank you for all your interaction. Keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming. Now, I'm going to give you some gorgeous things whilst Alison Tarry prepares herself with another pair of my shoes. Have you got them? No, I'm going to nip and get them now. With another pair of my shoes. <laughs> Um, and we're going to give you a, a gorgeous bundle. Which one should we go for first? I think I'm going to go for the drops first, if I may. Uh, now, I love these drops. And there's a reason, um, a reason actually oh, Danny's put these together for you. Drops are really, really popular. But you might not have every single colour in drops. We're going to give you a price tag which we think actually makes it quite accessible to have every colour. Look at this, love this colour, really striking, really, really strong greens. So they'd be perfect. Are you gonna do the perfect uh, Christmas Cinderella slippers? If so, then this green onyx is gonna be perfect for you. Green onyx is a gemstone that is associated with the spirit world. If you believe in all of that, uh, all of that mumbo, which I kind of do, I do, I like a bit of mumbo. Um, if you believe in all of that, it's said to help the spirit pass from one world to another, which is why you see a lot of uh, shrines with green onyx. But in a jewellery making perspective, uh, I, I think the drops are great for flower making. I think they're wonderful for cascading earrings. Now these are top, actually these are middle drilled. They're not top drilled, look. They're middle drilled, which gives you a lot of scope in your, can you see that in the middle? The kind of middle drilled, uh, which means you can make flowers out of them. You can make surrounds to your round gemstones out of them, but you can drop them as well. Now, I'm also going to give to you 
through drill drops. Now these are wonderful if you are doing a, a cascade, a waterfall cascade, because if you think about doing your rosary links in between or your little eye links in between each one and just dropping them one after the other, one after the other, after the other. You can do flowers out of them and they're on your on your tutorial DVD. If you're shopping for the first time, we're gonna show you how to do flowers on your tutorial DVD, so don't panic. Now, I'm gonna give you some of the most stunning drops. Have a look. These are top drilled labradorite drops. They're going to work really well with all of that. And, look, and what I'm going to do actually to show you labradorite, can you see all those flashes of blue that you get? You're going to get loads for your money here. Drops are super duper popular. And if you're sort of, maybe you've been jewelry making for a month or so, you're thinking about mixing it up a bit. Maybe you're thinking, you know what, I've been using rounds too much. Go for a drop because they're elegant and they're pretty and I think they're going to make really nice delicate pieces. You've got some lovely lemon quartz here uh, and you get a lot to the strand here. You see how they're packed? They're jam-packed onto the strand. I think that strand would make a really nice bubble bracelet. Then look at these. They're delicate. They're soft. They're feminine. I love that they, they've got a nice depth and diameter to them. To, to them. Uh, you've got the rose quartz drops in there as well. So you've got smoky quartz, labradorite, lemon quartz, rose quartz, and green onyx. All genuine gemstones. Remember, we're part of the genuine gemstone group, which means that we are passionate about bringing you genuine gemstones. Look at the labrador essence on that one. Gorgeous. 0800 You need to be right next to that blower now because we should be at 1975. When you think about the fact that you're getting five genuine gemstone stands for under 20 pounds, I think that's a pretty good price tag, actually. However, my little love puffs, we're going to give you the price tag of just £12.50 for five blooming gorgeous strands. 30 seconds, Alison Terry, tell me how much you love a good old drop. Uh, that's brilliant. I love drops. Drops are so versatile. What do you automatically do with them? I mean, I mean, if you want to use them to bulk things up, flowers, perfect. Yeah. But I use them individually and you can have like a chandelier but you can make a beautiful bib with lots and lots of drops mm. on them and you get the movement and they catch the light. They're absolutely stunning. And those are beautiful. Those, those onyx are amazing. I love that green. You absolutely. need that for Christmas you, you don't do. you? That, yeah, that just says Christmas to me. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. So strong. And if you're doing our Christmas, if we're doing the shoe project, we might want to put Christmas yeah, colours absolutely. in there. Can you absolutely. imagine wearing those those shoes on Christmas Day, sauntering out, watching those jaws are dropping? Twelve pounds and fifty pence. We've only got twenty-one left. There's loads of you shopping with us already now. Uh, Jean, Jeanette, Leslie, Sue, Lorraine, Joyce, Kay in Aberdeenshire, brand new jewellery makers, N A G C ninety two. You've got a thirty day money back guarantee with everything that you shop for so a lot of movement on a bib a lot of organic mm. flow maybe making charms out of these maybe bubble bracelets definitely earrings absolutely certainly earrings but they make the easiest flower five of these on a bit of monofilament drawn together into a knot easy peasy lemon squeezes sissy is grabbing hers well done sissy shopping from the us of a joyce in the gorgeous oxfordshire yvonne you've grabbed yours jewelry maker in warwickshire more texts coming our way and we love hearing from you so please keep them coming this is from catherine in massachusetts oh you are being loved in <laughs> Massachusetts. You're global. Oh, my Lord. Alison, that is awesome. I can't wait to see how it's done. Is that the man? It's probably not her accent. I was just doing it for effect, okay? You know, like um, when you used to watch Watchdog and they used to do different voices over the letters? <laughs> Uh, Roseanne in Yorkshire, wow, 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 what more can I say? Alison, you're amazing, and Jenny, you're a wicked presenter. She couldn't take that back now. Uh, looking forward to a great show from Roseanne in Yorkshire. That's pretty good, that. It's because Kaz, you're from Yorkshire, aren't you? She is, she's from Yorkshire. Sharon in Essex. I want to see the shoes on you, Jenny. They, the shoes on you, Jenny, they're stunning. Alison, I love them. <laughs> I oh, know, I oh, know, they're beautiful, aren't they? Uh, now, £12.50. pence. Oh, I went all Stacey Solomon then. £12.50, 16 chances. Uh, Eleanor from L'Exemple. 
Oh la. Oh. Uh, Sarah in Powers, you've got your Saria, you've got yours. Loads of you there. Barbara in County Durham, Vicky and Devon, everyone shopping from gorgeous places today. NAG C92. Oh. Neg C92. C92. I like that. Now look at look at you. Still a few of those are available. Keep on trotting on. For them. They are an amazing price tag, aren't they? Oh, I can't wait to put those little babies on my feet. I tell you that for nothing. <laughs> you look at if you look at our Facebook page, I do put them on. And luckily, all the other presenters are a size six. Yeah. I'm the only size five. <laughs> Darn it. Shucks. I'm going to have to keep these now. Um, which one should we go for? Why don't we go for number nine? Around. Around jewellery makers. In a roundabout way, jewellery makers, these are your bread and butter of jewellery making. Now, um, oh, look at that colour. Oh, I need that colour to go with the shoes and with the dress. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yeah. The round, if you are just starting jewellery making, is going to be the easiest thing for you to start with. So, brand new jewellery makers, I'm looking at you. you don't forget you're going to get loads of freebies with your very first order to teach you how to work with these but these are so easy just to, and, and if you're a very experienced jewelry maker you already know this which is why I'm telling it to the um, brand new jewelry makers but just putting a, a thread of elastic through here makes a really great stretchy now that kind of jewelry we'd wear every day very Jacqueline that's it's very classic very 50s I love the colors that you're getting here have a look at this I absolutely love I'm gonna give you a color that we ne hardly ever see look at that pink Ooh, that's that nice. is be what, what kind of pink mm. is it a salmon pink? salmony pink isn't it? Is it lovely it's beautiful I really I like, like that it looks a, a little bit like a strawberry bonbon <gasps> and we all like oh. a strawberry bonbon don't we? Very, I mean I like that a very expensive strawberry ice cream where there's lots of strawberry in it oh oh that's my favorite one is it I love strawberry <laughs> ice cream that particular one that you're on yeah. about yes could eat a whole load of that <laughs> then I'm gonna give you some Amazonite right look at the I love these colors look at the colors they're Amazonite aren't they I, I absolutely think those are 50s right there in a oh, nutshell. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I love these colours. Then you've got the yellow, which I would put. I love that. Uh, would you put the blue with these as well, or would they be separate? I think they would all go in the same project. Yeah, I don't think I'd put all of those in one project. I'd split them up. Those would go together yeah. really nicely. They'd all go with each other, but I wouldn't put them all together. Yeah, I agree actually. You could put any of those with any of them. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Works. you're right, yeah. Works. It do I think these three together are great though. Beautiful, if yeah. you're gonna Oh I love them. That's beady beady beads earrings. I mean there's not a, I mean I can't actually think of things that I can't do with a round. No. They are the most versatile yeah. shape. Macrame, soutache. You can use them for anything. Stitch them onto your leather, stick them in your chainmail, stick them in your Viking Ooh. knit, wire wrap them. Your, your round is endless. So if I'm looking for value for money, if I want to experiment with all of the genres in jewellery making, then this is the bundle that I want because oh, it's gosh. A, easy. It's got a nice large drill hole. Yeah. You can fit most of your, your beading thread. Well, you can fit your, loads of beading thread through there. You can fit your elastics through there, your wires through there. So, and, and your, um, different, your different threads for macrame mm. and, um, and, and your soutache and, and whatnot. So we're looking at uber versatility here. We're seeing five wonderfully versatile strands that are going to stretch across your genres of jewellery making. We've only got 29 of these at the price tag we're going to give to you and you are guessing. Can I just have a look at the um, diameters of each round please because I just think um, if we're soutaching we want to go at about a six to a, or an eight mil with the beaded chain don't we? I can mm. see I've got some soutachable uh, ones here. We have got the um, beautiful salmony pink which we are giving to you at now it's saying i've got an orange there oh are they calling that orange yeah um that's eight mil you've got the aqua green at eight mil you've got teal 
at 8 mil. You've got the dark blue at 10 mil and the pink at 10 mil as well. So 8 and 10 mil, very versatile. Either end of your chain mail bracelets, mm -hmm. mixing these into a three strand weave or a ladder weave or a beady bead. I mean, you're really going to be able to, to stretch it with these. They're, they're going to be great for you. They really are. With a 30 day money back guarantee, don't forget you've got, you've always got that 30 day money back guarantee. And you have got a gemstone for every technique here. Absolutely. SBG C34, if you just started wire wrapping. If you're shopping yeah. on the website uh, and, and putting these in baskets to individual pieces, I think that's great. I think that buying five strands of genuine gemstones for under 20 pounds at 1975, I actually think that's great. But what we've done is we've gone along, imagine we've got a little jewelry maker supermarket. This is Danny sauntering around. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's like supermarket sweep. He's like that. <laughs> and uh, when he gets to the checkout and hears that beep, boop, boop. Think of the fun you could be having <laughs> on Danny's Market Sweep. Now, uh, what we do is we put it together as a bundle and, and we go, meh, with the price. <gasps> wow. 14 pounds and 95 pence, 21 chances. Grab it and run, jewelry makers. There's 20 of these remaining and loads and loads of inspiration. Judith, you've got yours. June, you've got yours. Carol, Linda, in Blano, in Gwent. I was in Gwent, I was. You were? I even had to go to Gwent Hospital, I did. Our oh, gorgeous Chloe lost her memory. Two for you, Samina, Susan, Jenny, Audrey, Sue, Jennifer, Terry, Isabel, Susan, Joan. I talk, what's, um, oh, we got anonymous in Massachusetts. Uh, Sue and Oxygen, two for you. I mean, this is all about versatility and you can wire work with these, Oh yeah, you? absolutely. I use a lot of rounds in wire work. A lot of eights, a lot of tens. They're, no, those are fantastic. And I'd mix those as well. And I've seen a fantastic soutache design where they use different size rounds mm -hmm. and they really compact it and they've made a cuff. And that's absolutely stunning. You could use those brilliantly with it. I, I just think there's so much mm. you can do. If you need, if you could only get one bundle today and you've just started jewelry making, I would get rounds. That would be brilliant. And then I had things like elastic. I would make stretch. I did make stretch to my first mm. ever thing, and then it was earrings. And then I started getting a bit more adventurous. And I think you do do that, don't you? Dip your toe in the water before. Although actually, sometimes I do jump in, feet first or head first, uh, in the jewelry making case. In jewelry making case, it, I did sort of, I, I did sort of ease myself in there gently. Actually, I did. It's true. What I did you do? I did chainmail. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting um, questions. Can uh -oh. the, can the shoes be um, adapted for flat shoe? Oh wearing? gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. You can, you can put it on any shaped shoe. Just those with the shoes. Don't know if she walks in them, but those are the shoes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I won't show you what I've got on my feet. <laughs> hey, there's a lot to be said for them. Yeah. <laughs> there is a lot to be said for those shoes. She's wearing the shoes can. that can get snappy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Waterproof. Yeah, they're well comfy. Five chances if you don't check out on web, you're going to miss out on this. Zena in Cambridge. We haven't seen you. Where have you been, Zena? How dare you go on holiday? And Susie, you've got yours. It's a different Zena. Uh, Samina, hi, Samina from Manchester. Oh, how are they, they talking Manchester like that? Yeah. All right, sorted. Jenny, <laughs> OMG, that bundle. Alison, you're amazing. Top, sorted. Uh, I want those shoes. Jenny, I love your accents. You look fab <laughs> as usual. Samina, thanks, love. You won't be loving me so much now, will you? <laughs> uh, no, Sissy is saying, what a money maker for Christmas and prom events. Yes, yes. Yes! Weddings, wedding shoes. Well, we might be running a course. We're running a course on the 20... Oh, gosh, I've forgotten. 25th of November. I shouldn't forget. It's the day before our anniversary. Sorry, John. Um, <laughs> 25th of, of November, and we're going to be doing some shoe... Sorry? October or no. November. It's October, thank you. I got married in October. She got it. Your accent came out. Your Merseyside accent came out then. I am Welsh. It's October. It's October. You're Welsh now. I told you about what they said to Chloe when she came round. Our, our Chloe, who, came, who was like our family, 
Uh, her and Mia are like that. She got knocked out on her horse. When she come round, the Welsh guy, brilliant guy, had a massive bright orange afro. And uh, she opened her eyes. She didn't know where she was. And you know how people in Wales say things that, that people in Hertfordshire don't know what you're on yeah. about, right? He goes, oh, do you know where you're to? Well, she didn't know what he was on about. He, she was like, where you are? Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. It just made, tickled me, that did. Uh, 14 95 these ones are about to sell out. We got to Alison Tammy's workshop. Uh, call Wendy, 0527 406 176. She should put a mobile on there as well. She's ever so chatty. <laughs> She's ever lovely. Ever so chatty. Uh, now, do get involved in that. Now, I'm going to give to you. Thanks to Amelia for that lovely oh, fresh water she just cold, gave to us. It's beautiful. Now, Alison Tarry, it's, we're really going to ring you out for inspiration <laughs> today. And I'm going to give you a challenge, believe it or not. I believe it. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm going to give you one of my favourites, which is another, just a pure coincidence, Alison Terry. Beautiful, gorgeous, classic pearls. I adore Three of them. the four strands are brand new. I want you to look at these because you've got these luscious little buttons. You've got the ovals, you've got the smaller ones, you've got the lilac. Lilac. I like to say it like that. Lilac. I just love I this. Them. I love them. Pearl cuffs are really hot at Tiffany & Co right now. Uh, we know vintage pieces with pearls. Breathtaking. I just think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bundle because of its classic nature because these are june's birth gemstone and because i always think that pearls are associated with that high-end status now if you're thinking about creating bridal shoes then perfect. these are going to be perfect instead of the gemstones yeah. you've used aren't they yeah, absolutely perfect i was thinking that as you fetch them out do you think absolutely ooh, bridal stunking. shoe oh yeah absolutely I might actually say yes if somebody asked me to marry <laughs> just so you can make me some bridal shoes. There you go. For a zero other reason. <laughs> oh, Danny said, will you marry me? <laughs> All right then. <laughs> now, have a look at these. Aren't they stunning? I love, but do you know, I just love them. They look so classy and so expensive. And yeah. we think about Audrey Hepburn and we think about uh, of course, Jacqueline Onassis, yeah. Marilyn Monroe, Elizabeth Taylor. These are women we associate with glamour, money, expensive, dripping in handsome men and diamonds and pearls. You know, it's a fantasy, isn't mm. it? I love it, unless you're Elizabeth Taylor. Um, okay. You know, I just love them. I think they're so... Well, they, they have their own status, Alison. Yeah, them. they do. And they're ageless. You know, you can see little girls with a, some of those are so delicate, mm. and you could have a little a little bracelet for a little girl, or certainly do a tiara for her for oh. a wedding. You know, beautiful. And you could also see the mother of the bride or the grandmother of the bride wearing them, as well as you know, they are ageless. Everybody can wear them. You can really funk them up as well. You can, you can, but by making them more funky. I get frightened of that. You know, uh, the teenagers are wearing, and Mia does this, my daughter does that, and, and actually um, Mark with his bridal macrame, of course. Mm. Um, you're right, you can do the classics, mm. you can do the more funky Absolutely. pieces. You can do the pieces that uh, are going to be timeless heirlooms. I, I just think pearls are a wonderful oh, addition. I, I absolutely adore them. Now, pearls are going to be more expensive now. Pearl prices have risen. Uh, they're more expensive for us to buy. There's less of them uh, being produced at the moment. Hannah and Paula, we've actually got a little um, slide of information about our pearls uh, somewhere, which we'll find for you. It, it is about pearl prices rising. Uh, we do, obviously, um, I don't want to give you high prices and go, oh, look, you, you know, and, and not pretend that we're not aware of it. We are aware they're more expensive. They're more expensive for us to buy. We can't get pearls at the prices that we used to anymore. G U G C twenty eight. 
What price are you going to go to then? He de Danny has not told me what the price is. Uh, well, standard large rounds are not allowed to go into £20 anymore. These aren't rounds and they are... So I would say for the whole bundle, because you've bundled them, you're gonna, they're going to go lower, aren't they? 30 something? I was thinking 35. Yeah. 35, Alison said. Alison said 35. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> no. You've hit the wrong button. That is bonkers. Three pound, less than three pound a strand for pearls, genuine pearls. That is absolutely start raving mad. What are you doing, Danny? It's nice working with you. <laughs> but then I've got to justify to everyone when I have them tomorrow or the next day at 1995. We'll do this after the show. 1180, Danny. Multi buy, guys. If, you, if this doesn't sell out, Danny is going to get in the most amount of trouble. If it sells out and somebody loads, if it doesn't sell out, somebody will load the code and see it. It will, because if there's any left, I'll be buying them when I get 80 off 80 chances. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at everybody on the phone lines. Giselle's I'm got two, surprised. Pat and Menorca. BH in Surrey, three for you, Sue. In Essex, two for you, Susan. In Wiltshire, two for you. Good grief, Penfold. I promise you, I promise you prices. Have you found the thing we're supposed to show everybody about pearls? <laughs> You're not going to have time. Look at everybody on the phone lines. OMG, Nichols. And that's th just who's got through. I've got loads of people still waiting have. in a queue. That's people talking. Un. Believable. Oh, the, by the way, that goes on. That goes down and down and down and down and down. 11.80, 27 left, 95 have gone, 11 pounds and 80 pence for four strands of pearls. This is not going to happen again. <laughs> Words. Words. <laughs> Me. What are you? You're just, you're a sort, you are, Danny. 11.80, 16 chances, 0800, 6, 4, 6, or the w's.jurymaker.com crazy uh, go and have a look on our sister channel gems tv and mm. see how much pearl i mean and there we are really low prices go and check out my gorgeous Zena on gemporia.com at the moment uh, tune in to Go Zena. On. she'll be giving you some great deals on the last in stock this has gone and sold out talking about my gorgeous Zena on gemporia here's the information of how you can access her did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel, Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. How much would you pay if you were in London? How much would you pay? Or, I'll re let me rephrase. How much do you think the tag on a pair of shoes like this would be? Forget where I got them from in the first place. Because they were inexpensive shoes. Have a look. Have a look at what you are about to create. We've taken a very inexpensive shoe and we have made them. Well, if you put these on an auction site, we'd be talking about, these are actually auction at a lot of money. They would. You are about to learn how to create, perhaps arguably, Alison Tarry's best ever, ever, ever design inspiration and what a sentence that is we have been in i don't know how you do it you just climb higher and higher and higher up the crazy design mountain the crazy design mountain that's what you're doing <laughs> it's like you're literally climbing up there you're there you're right you're nearer to the flag You've already stepped on Donatella Versace on your way up there. <laughs> I wish. You've kicked down Dolce and Gabbana. They're both at the bottom. <laughs> Prada can't get anywhere near you. Look at what we've got. If any massive design bigwigs watching now, they're going to need you on their team. Yeah, I'm, I'm available. 
I'd like to say that I would take 10% of uh, <laughs> Alison Spears, her manager. Now, I'm going to give to you uh, the elements to create. We're going to give you the wire and the gemstone separately to make it more affordable because you might already have the wire, you might already have some gemstones that you've got in mind. It might be the pearl bundle you just bought. Now, Alison requested oh. certain sizes and certain gemstones, and who are we to argue? This lady will get whatever <laughs> she likes. So Alison had an emerald strand, yes. of course she did. <laughs> Alison had some black agate and some smoky quartz seedy beads. Those are so gorgeous. They're beautiful. Some white quartz seedy beads and some green aventurine four mil rounds. We're going to give to you these five strands. Now let's have a look where Alison has used the gemstones. So I'm going to show you around the full shoe here. Look at the smoky quartz here. We've got the emerald. I can't believe I got it's the emerald on the adventure. Emerald on them. <laughs> emerald slipper. Who needs ruby slippers? <laughs> My emerald slippers. Now I'm going to take you around to the back oh. and have a look. Amelia's going to need to wear something like this on her wedding day, isn't she? Have a look. Smoky quartz. So all of the gemstones have been used. Oh, are you in love? Do you need that? You've got to have this. You've got to do it. Don't forget, we are on YouTube afterwards. Now, we're going to give to you emerald for mill rounds, aventurine, and three wonderful seedy bead strands smoky quartz black agate and white quartz for an incredibly low 26 pounds and 75 wow. pence if you were shopping individually but we're taking that price tag down today loads of you are on the phones we are experiencing queues today is a free phone number if you're dialing from a uk landline we had less than 100 of these which is far less than we needed four pounds a strand and we're talking about emerald being in this kit as well this is genuine emerald maize burst gemstone 19 pounds and 95 pence you've got emeralds in your strand you've got five gorgeous strands these are wonderful not only for this project but also if you're looming also if you're doing beaded kumihimo there's so much versatility in this one uh, 0800 644 is the number to be calling you can shop online it's all the w.jurymaker.com please don't forget you can use your debit card if you're shopping but you can also use your credit card if you're a couple of uh, days over from payday uh, YPG don't take financial advice off me by the way <laughs> C83 what this plastic thing that gives you free things <laughs> yeah. that's how I see it's it it's not like real money is it real money <laughs> I'll just put this in a machine and take it uh, now of course the uh, bank manager will tell you different Susan Gray to Manchester hi Jenny and Alison I need um, I need just a tiny bit of that talent and imagination. Wow. Keep making us laugh, Jenny. Thank you. I tell you what, you're going to have it all. You can have it all. tarry tastic time. <laughs> now, uh, we've got another one. Thanks, Susan. Samina in Manchester. Alison, you should do silver or gold. Bright red shoes. It would look like Wizard of Oz. Dorothy shoes, OMG. Jenny, I still love you despite the mank accent. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, <laughs> can I, can I, now, um, Kaz, you know, calls herself authentic Yorkshire. Stood there in Arsenal shirt. <laughs> Arsenal shirt. <laughs> Arsenal shirt. What are you doing? You get beat up. You will if you go around Manchester like that. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to like um, Man United or? Oh, Man City, yeah. Quite Man City. Well, who do Leeds, Leeds support? Leeds, Leeds. of course. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> when can I put them on? <laughs> After the show. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's bad luck to have shoes on the table. I've got to get the stairs. I've got to do this because. Um, I've burnt my back and you don't want to see what I've done to my oh, back do you it's no. horrible isn't it's, it it's not horrible but well it's pretty horrible to be honest <laughs> sit 
now it's like when do you know what I feel like you know on Pretty Woman the movie when she goes in and they're like we're not serving you <laughs> like, I feel like that I feel like take back I'm not good fuck. enough for you <laughs> I also made a little a little thing for your updo just enjoying my uh sort of yeah. th it's sort of designed to go with a bun really but I think I, I like it like that you like it like that is this for my uh, imaginary wedding? Well, <laughs> we, we might change the stones a bit unless you're going to get married in green. It's bad luck, isn't it? <gasps> is it? Stop! Is it really? Get is married in green. Someone said somewhere. Yeah. Who made that rule? I've no idea. It's not going to come out now. <laughs> you will what forever if, have to wear. What if you were getting married in green and you had on a lead two magpies? <laughs> <laughs> then it'd be okay. You'd have a very understanding man. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think I have. <laughs> now, uh, the wire I'm going to give you a, a, in a tickle. Oh. <laughs> Alison, I don't even don't know where to there. begin with you. Were you this talented at school? Did they understand you at school? Um, I was all about the sciences and art. Well, art was my best subject. But I used to get into trouble because um, we did sewing projects and they, they, they used to say, oh, you haven't made that, your mum has. My mum used to go marching in going, she made that! <laughs> go on, Pamela. <laughs> Indeed. I bet she did. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> no one messes with Pamela Howe. No, they don't. Now, um, you've got one mill wire, uh, yep. wire in silver. Should we give them the wire now, Danny? Because everyone wants it. <laughs> now, you like the sound of that, do you? Uh, one mil wire silver. Yes. We all know that silver one mil and 0 0.4 are the most popular gauges and everyone goes bananas on a stick for them. Yeah. So you do need to be quick on this one. And you've also got, I know it always confuses me when I see a little reel and that's 100 meters as well, mm. but it is. It's 100 meters, 0 0.4. So that is your binding gauge and there is your swirling gauge. Now, you need, well, did that 0 0.4 go through all of the gemstones? Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely all even of them. Even those little, yeah, even didn't the little it? tiny ones. Even, yeah, absolutely, it went through every single one. Okay, so if you want to be able to create exactly, oh, we're going to an amazing price tag for this one. At thirty-seven yeah. ninety, that was good, a good price. Yeah. I'm going to give you a wire mm -hmm. deal, my darlings. Thirty-two pounds wow. ninety-five pence. You're getting the two gauges, not just one. 32, 95, 0 0.4, 100 meters. That is 100 meters, I promise Cheers. thee. And you've also got your 100 meters of your one mil as well. Loads of you there. So this is really the fundamentals. This is what you yeah. cannot do without yeah. the, for the shoe, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't make it in point eight because I don't think it would be, I wouldn't be feel secure about it. Right, okay. I'd, I wanted that extra structure. To, so that you know it was solid I needed it to be solid and I, I wouldn't wrap with anything bigger than that because it would then stick out and be chunky I was worried when I put the shoe on I thought it, because everyone said Pip went are they heavy and I said you can't even feel that it's got mm. wire on there they're a regular pair of shoes to f in in the way of how they feel to wear mm. amazing and it, it, they're not just for heels you can do the same technique in a flat shoe. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can see everybody going around in the gorgeous flat shoes of wire. Absolutely. Any shape shoe, you just build it to fit that shape because I haven't made that and then found a shoe for it to fit. I've I've put it molded the wire the around the shoe. Uh, Leah's just said the most bizarre thing in my ear I've ever heard. <laughs> If you were to break your leg, you could put it round your plaster cast. I like the way that you think of the <laughs> ultimate tragedy, <laughs> Leah, director. It's almost worth getting a broken leg for. That's how she said it. Like, I'm excited to break my leg just so I can have one around my plaster cast. Don't do, cast. Don't Don't do, do that. Take yourself away from the top of those stairs, Leah. Yeah, I'm not, don't do I'm it. I'm not having it. Now, where by juvials do I start with this? Right. So you I've got very long eyelashes today. That's why I'm staring at you. <laughs> like that. And it might be making you a bit uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. They're very fluttery. Have you used I, something I mascara them. Oh! Lucy gave me a tip and told me to put some mascara on. So I did. <laughs> you have it's to do what Lucy tells you, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Don't want to mess with her. No. Right. I have I pinched with? another of Jenny's shoes. Only because, like I say, you don't want to be... Because they're all lying around everywhere. I'm very messy. I literally <laughs> leave bears. everything everywhere, which is brilliant because the day you came in and said you were going to do a shoe, who you was the only some. one with a pair of shoes here? Perfect. Yes, it was me because I was messy. <laughs> Being messy does pay, kids. <laughs> 
Right, let me just get my... What are you doing now? Flush cutters, of course. Sorry. Alison Terry sponsored by Flush Cutters. <laughs> right. I, That's a nice shoe. Is that actually mine? Yeah. yeah. Bit what? dirty. It's got it's got mud from the yard on it. You wear what these down the yard to muck out horses? I use wellies. No, they do laugh at me because I do it before <laughs> I go come to work. So I'm like leading the horse out in heels. Come on! <laughs> Stop trying to bite me and move. <laughs> totter, totter, totter. Yeah. <laughs> Once I turned up in my rollers, that didn't go down well. Oh, you I nearly got thrown in mucky for that. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do, and I, I'll try and, hang on, I'll try and do it that way round. There we go. What I did was basically holding it round and I take, took it all the way round. Now, if you were, weren't sure about leaving it, just put clips in it. Put little clips or little tiny pegs or something. You were saying that earlier. What kind of thing can I use? Like a hair... You know the one hairdressers use? Yeah, or um, you know the little tiny bulldog clips you can get yeah, for paper? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. something like that. Yeah. You just want to hold it. I wouldn't use sellotape because you don't want to mark the shoe. No, although okay. they've seen better days anyway, Alison <laughs> Tarry. Now, don't worry, and I'm going to just bend the top where we're at. Okay? L literally, I'm going to where the seam is down the back. Mm -hmm. So, like you say, you can do this with any shape of shoe. All you're doing is following the shape of the shoe. Of the actual shoe, whether yeah. it's flat or yeah. whether it's a heel. Now, don't panic. It doesn't matter what sort of... Uh, that it's not perfect, because I tweak them. Okay. You, the chances of you getting this perfect first time round are fairly slim. Yeah. Um, or it'll take you so long that it's not worth it. Okay? So, so long as you've got plenty... And then you just come round here so that you know you've got, you're following this all the way round. See, I'm holding it there and then fetching it up with my other hand to the top, roughly round there, and then I'm just going to bend it that way. So we've now got our shoe shape, and they always look very bizarre and huge. When I first did Jenny's, I had to go back and look at the shoe because I yeah, thought, oh my like, God, that's enormous. <laughs> that looks like a size eight, not a size five. <laughs> but it, it, trust me, it's right, okay? And then I just took a little bit of, well, I, I use a little bit of rough wire. You can put that to one side now. I can't wait to wear these shoes. <laughs> You're gonna go down a red carpet. And you're going to be stopped by the press and say, oh, yes, I'm wearing Alison Terry shoes. My shoes are by <laughs> Alison Terry. So is my wire work dress. <laughs> when I'm famous, I'm going to make you make me a wire work dress. I'll commission oh, it. Fabulous, would not it? I could imagine doing it, too. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm, like, rich and famous, yeah. you can, like, be in your own massive studio. Oh, fabulous. I'll, I'll and, hold and it And it'll that. just, like, blast out good songs like Queen. Oh, yeah, and, excellent. Uh, to make you feel positive. <laughs> right. So we've got that. Now, that is actually too big, but you don't worry about that. Okay. Okay? So what we now need to do, we've got a rough size. We know we're going to go roughly to there at the bottom, so I'm actually going to bend them at the bottom as well. So that at the heel, again, you know it's rough. This wire is quite malleable. So okay. you don't worry because you can unbend it and bend it back. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to follow that round there. Now, different shaped heels, these are different because they've got a curve to that one. Yeah. So you'd have to adapt how you did it. Because those are a straight up stiletto. So they go circularly up. So we'd have to adapt this one to finish there and wire it slightly differently. So have a look now at Alison's has a curve. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. right. So we then put, we, we keep your shoe handy because you keep referring back to it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I went away. <laughs> now I, I started doing it, I was determined I wasn't going to do swirls. <laughs> I know, and I'd done the How front of this. How are you going to do it without swirls? I, I, I wasn't going to do swirls on this project. I've done do? a few projects on swirls, so I'd done this. I'd done this piece for the toe, which was all nice and intricate wire work, and I was going to put the gemstones on it. And I then, and then I went up the side and I did these swirls, and I thought, oh, do you know what? I love the look of that, and I just t changed the front. The whole thing. The whole thing. I just took that, threw swirls that bit work. away. Listen, if it works, <laughs> it then looked, roll with it. When I'd done them down the side, I thought, oh god, that looks gorgeous. So it they turned do into look swirls. Ama they're it amazing. Swirls. Right. So then I went away and made some swirls. So 
I have counted how many I've used for that shoe for a size five. So it'll give you an idea of what you need. Okay. So we'll go to my little, and I, <laughs> I kept all my bits, <laughs> the length of wire with them. Now Kath has, has photographed all these and what I'll do after the show is I'll put on the sizes and how many you need of each of them underneath that slide. Okay. Photograph, whatever you want to call it. Right, so these are the big ones. So it's about, uh, I think it's, it's about 10 centimetres, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13, about 14, 14 centimetres. But I will put the exact sizes I've used on, but it doesn't matter. All you need to do is do them mm -hmm. roughly the same. And don't panic because you tweak them. So you I mould them around the shoe, Yeah, won't absolutely. You? So then I made a swirl out of it. Very easy. I, I debated whether to put the loop on the end. I normally put a loop when I'm making jewellery. Uh, can you see that one? There we go. Let's have a look from Kaz here. There you go. So I normally put the loop because if it's just a straight end, it can snag things a bit easier. Mm -hmm. If it was um, sterling, then I'd just melt the end to a blob. Ooh. But because it's it's the plate, yeah. you'd get a very strange effect. Okay, Which so might not be might do that one day. <laughs> so to do the swirl round, so we've got our little hole first, and then I tend to pull that around more like that. So you've got your base clef, then. You go to the other side. Now I've done them asymmetrically. So I'll start the bottom one off again. Do my loop. Do my round. So that's the smaller one. And then I'll just bend that in with my fingers to give us, whoops, there we go. A very rough idea of what they look like. Some sort of deformed whale with a little blowhole on the top. <laughs> okay now I did actually do them as you, and it will be easier for you to do them at home and I made them all roughly the same size okay. so I did have one as a template and I measured them I wasn't too bothered that they were exactly that that bit was exactly there but I wanted them all roughly the same size okay because what you've got to remember is you're making two shoes now well assuming you do both the shoes and not do them asymmetric so you've got one with and one without if you do them completely random which you could do you don't have to do them all the same you could just do them completely random and if both shoes are com completely random it would look okay okay if you do them and they're sort of symmetrical but they're not it looks a bit odd so i wanted to kind of make them so that they would match they need to match i think yeah they do they'd look a bit odd completely random you could you could do it they'd look quite funky but i wanted classy so so I did 22 of these for each shoe. 22 for each shoe? 22 for each shoe. Now this is good because Alison's already done all of this. So um, obviously if you've got a larger shoe, yeah. you might need You can either do more, more scrolls or, larger, or scroll. larger scrolls. Okay, yes. Yeah? Now my shoes are a size five. So this is based on a size, size five. five shoe. For a size six, I'd probably just do that and pull them out a bit. Yeah, because there's not much in it no. once you. Kaz has got like a size three, haven't you, Kaz? Size five. You oh, say, oh, you're a size oh. three too. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Carol came out and went, why aren't those in a size six? <laughs> oh, Carol, Carol did. <laughs> like, sorry, Bigfoot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a size My eight. daughter's a size six and a half. So oh, why is she? She's only twelve. <laughs> You're safe. You're no, safe. I know. She's gonna. She's gonna go mad. <laughs> and her feet are like little pencil things. Oh, are they? they? Are. Yeah. Oh, crazy bless her. Right. So we've got all of those, and I have a bag somewhere with all the rest of them. But we'll use these two. Can you tell me how many again? Twenty-two two. for each shoe. Twenty-two now, for each shoe. shoe. That Twenty-two rhymes. for each shoe. Now I found the best way to do them is to take your roll of wire and you I didn't take my flush cutters because I wasn't taking them on top of the boat and you sit on top of a narrow boat with your template and you snip Other them all out available? <laughs> while your husband's driving and then How in the lovely. afternoon you, you 
you coil them all and it it's goes a good old life <laughs> that Alison Terry I know. Isn't it? it takes absolutely no time to do them like that yeah, in the blazing heaven. sun beautiful oh. absolutely beautiful oh, Collie Lovely. and a Labrador at foot uh, no inside safely in the boat oh okay God, no, cider in hand uh, apple juice <laughs> I'm a, I'm a let down aren't I <laughs> yeah but I was driving late I was driving the boat so All I didn't right, want to drink yeah. and drive don't want to be at them boat police you don't want them after no, you no want to be see too many jail. accidents no, no thank you right so then we just do we go back to doing what we do best is wrapping a coil so I started the pattern and what I did was I started while they were out here and I was messing with them Right now, if you've got something else to do, I can just get my. I'm going to give everybody oh. the option of a 0.4 gold because actually we were thinking the gold and the silver together would be a nice beautiful. thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, I did that on a different project and it looks beautiful. Oh, just oh, grab we'll watch bag. this space jewelry makers. Alison's back at the weekend as well, so if you need more tarry time. It is terrifying, I know. BHJ M62, 100 metres of 0.4 wire. 0.4 wire is the perfect wire that you want for your wire wrapping, especially if you're using strands like the Emerald. Should be 14.95 for 100 metres. That's blooming good price tag. Uh, but we're going to give you 100 metres of gold. Gold and silver are our most popular colours of all wire. They've all been e-coated, so they're hypoallergenic, and they all contain real sterling silver underlay. At £9.95, pence, you've got yourself an utter treat. 0.4 will go through most of your drill hole sizes. Great for the uh, pearls that you've got coming up later. Perfect for the pearls. But they also look great with the one mil silver wire if you're blending your colours. They look lovely, don't they? Mixing colours is great. Absolutely fantastic. And yeah, if you'd have had gold and silver on there, it would look fab. You could have put antique bronze with that colour on mm -hmm. those shoes and it would look fab. Yeah. The gold, the gold wire wrapping gives you just enough sparkle to show up you know, and you've got enough of it, yeah. and you just catch it. That it's not overpowering, but it, it, it's beautiful. And I think my scrolls are all out there somewhere, so we'll, we'll go with this. So what I did was I played with the shapes. Okay. Can okay. Kaz help you with the scroll, or Amelia help you with the um, scrolling? Yeah, if Amelia's around, the, the, there's another bag, shopping bag out there. There's a shopping They'll, bag out there. I think they're on the top of there. If well, not, go on, Danny, lad, go on. Shopping bag out there, buy me Anne bag, the black one. Don't worry, there's a t-shirt in it, but don't worry. There's it a t-shirt in it, apparently. Just rumble. There's nothing You'll to buy. You'll have a rummage. Thank you. You'll have a rummage. Good old Danny. So I was playing, and I and I. Has it got course, deers on it? It's a it's a. It has got deers. A well known, on it. has it? Yeah, I think little, it did have along deers the side, on or is yeah, that that one? Red deers. No, yeah. that's this one. It's very like that. It's very like that one in in there. Sorry. It's all right. That's, let's do that to them. Let's make things up that don't exist for them to <laughs> look for. Like when your children are getting on your nerves. Will you go and find me a blue piece of paper? Not a left-handed screwdriver. <laughs> a left-handed screwdriver. They're there for hours trying to find Oh, bless Yay, you. Yay, Amelia, see, it has got deers oh, on it. Oh, it has got deers on it as well. Oh, yeah. bless you. There Thank we you. Go. <laughs> yeah, it's quite heavy. He-man! She is she -ra. Now, that's Amelia, everyone. Well done, Amelia. Ah, there it is, see? All right. Lovely. Now, Alison is so well prepared, everyone. If you've got some text messages, keep them coming. I've had a, a question. Uh, Danny didn't know what a slingback shoe was, but it's one of those um, shoes you put on with the back that's, that's just a little a strap. strappy bit. Uh, from Lorraine in Essex. Hello, Alison and Jenny. Alison, could this be done with a slingback shoe? Yes. You'd have to adapt how you attached it. Um, because obviously you can't go around the back. Elastic sometimes, yeah, so, so I wouldn't take the wire all the way around the back. Okay. Because Just you need that elastic to give. Where it's I, go I would around. stop it where it narrows. Now, the one thing I have used on there, which isn't in the kit, but you've all got loads of it, is monofilament. Mm -hmm. Because I've actually stitched the wire to the top of your shoe. Have you? Yeah. She so has it is, as well. it is it is firmly attached. But you could also use you could also glue she it stitched if it's your it with monofilament. But you've all got loads of monofilament. Yeah, you? even me. Very, very little. I've just caught it and then gone through and then come out and caught it. I just wanted to make sure that it, it wasn't going to sag. You didn't want a saggy shoe. No one wants a saggy anything, do they? <laughs> now, um, I'm going to have to have a little try on. Um, they're saying, can this be done on a flip? Yeah, but a flip flop would be a different project, wouldn't it? Yeah. You, you, I would be tempted to make some flip flaps. Flip flaps? 
flip flops. Flipper and McFloppers. Um, yeah, if you had some uh, hide leather. Never <laughs> thought you'd see the day where I did that, did you, Asantari? <laughs> Hello, leg. I am rather flexible, amazing. it's true, yes. I was so pleased that they look all right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I'm just going to be like this for the rest of the <laughs> show. <laughs> Shall I play my leg like a guitar? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I love these shoes. They've made me go rather crazy. <laughs> oh, I have to stretch that one out later. Oh, <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> hey, be thankful oh. you can do that. <laughs> Some yeah. of us can't get our leg up that I can high. Still get, I can still hold my leg right up there oh from my, my gym gosh. last days. Oh my from gosh. the bagger awards. Do you remember them at oh school? Oh gosh, yeah, I did the baggers. <laughs> I think I did about two <laughs> levels and then <laughs> I gave up. My, my, um, my teacher was horrible to me. She never let me do the routines to the music and I was desperate oh. to. Always had me on the horse going over that. Oh, did she? Right, so I had to play. Now you could do for wedding shoes. You've what they're doing to us. <laughs> I wasn't saying they were smelly. I really wasn't saying they were smelly. <laughs> Mind you, if you'd have seen me when I come home on Sunday, <laughs> told you my partner recoiled in horror when I got Aww. out of the horse box. He went, because of your back? <laughs> oh, no, you... because I was absolutely covered in head to foot in horse hair horse and drool. Mud. Yeah. <laughs> There's still some of the gold wire left at 9 95 We're going to give you the silver option back on the screen. 9 95 Ooh, That's a good bargain. It is. What are you up to? 50% off, isn't it? No. Third off. Yeah, it's Third good. Off. It's a good. You're good at math. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So I started I started this, and I didn't know whether you were a heart person or not. So I'm I thought, a heart person. Well, I thought I'm a swirl person. They were quite wedding-y. I'm whatever you want me to yeah, be. Yeah. Terry. So you could, you could very easily put that heart, oh. if you can imagine that heart. Yeah. On You've the hearted. front of there. Now these are a lot smaller than those, <laughs> so so <laughs> they would fit. <laughs> You've hearted, is what I said, because you put the hearts on the shoe. Nothing else. <laughs> I, knew I love coming here, you know. I, I knew this would happen. It. I knew it would happen. You did, you put a heart, you hearted on the back. I hearted look. on the back. You've got a sort of upside down heart. Wherever you put them, because you've got a sort of heart on the side, whenever you've got two squ swirls like this, you're going to, you, you know, as soon as you do that, you've got a heart. So what I started off doing was I'd, I'd measure it against the shoe like that. So I'd say, oh, because all do I shoes want it like that? Like they're a completely different shape to Oh, these, yeah, different. totally different because they're, they're a lot pointier. Yeah. So you, you have to amend your design to fit your shoe. You can't, you can't come, come with the design and think, I'm going to do that and that's it, because every shoe is, is different, unless mm -hmm. you like Jenny and have several of the same ones in different colours. I do do that. You've <laughs> noticed, have you? I did notice that's that. That's not me, it's my other half. <laughs> he does that thing where he buys you every outfit because he can't, can't decide what colour and then he gets you all the matching shoes to go with. If it had been Aww. me, I never would have done it. I'd have thought, that's far too expensive. <laughs> yeah. Usually right. angling for something. What I did with the first one, when I'm working out my design, so if you're going to work out your design, is I rough, I roughly bound them. I didn't do it tight, I didn't finish it, I just did it roughly. So I did a whole shoe rough. And what I did is I started and I put it there, now that, and then you bend them round the shape of the shoe to fit. Now oh, that that's amazing. would be fab. Yeah. And there's nothing to say you've got to do the whole shoe. No, nah, my mind you can says do, I have to do the whole shoe. You can do shoe. part ones. I tell you what, it looked quite amazing actually before I put any gemstones on. I know, apart from the fact that the gemstones were so fabulous, I it looked at it and I was like, still looked oh. amazing. Yeah. Just with, even without the gemstones. It does, it does. I so, think the gemstones make it oh, that gem. focal point. They do. They, they do. do. They do make it lovely. They're gorgeous. And the gemstones were amazing. So everything that you need to create, the exact project that you need to create, the project of the year. Is this going to be voted the project of the year? Yeah, it is by me, a hundred <laughs> times over. Do you vote this? We've got a lot of amazing, terrifying designs. Would you say terrifying. that these are the this the design of the year for you? I do. You do. I you, I do. She's practicing. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Isn't 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's this is... Did you notice she's practicing? I do. I, I do, do think Ring. that. Why would you say I do, Amelia? Because you said, do you think that this... Or is it because you're practicing because you're engaged? Yeah. I think the viewers have forgotten Jenny. <laughs> she's engaged. <laughs> No. Right. Anyway. Okay. So I, I put them there, and then I fastened them again loosely, just to the front of the shoe. So it all to the outline we made. Mm -hmm. So it all starts. Did you have to keep taking the shoe away yeah. and bringing it back yeah. to you? I did. Yes, I did with the first one because I was trying to work out the design for the shape, mm -hmm. and it was it, it grows kind of organically. So I wonder if people went past your barge and thought, what in God's well, name is that woman doing? <laughs> well, most to be fair, most of the shoe fitting, because I didn't want to risk dropping your shoes in the canal. <laughs> so so I did I did stuff where I, I if I dropped a piece of wire and it didn't matter. And I wouldn't it, have minded. They were they were only cheapest. Yeah, but I've only had one shoe to do the project with then. Oh yeah, I would have <laughs> minded really. I'd have been like, well, what a good pair. Right, now because I've done this at the back deliberately, I then put my shoe in like that. Oh, and hook good it idea. over yeah. so that you get a rough idea. Keep moulding it, moulding it, yeah. moulding it. And then you slowly, as you add more pieces, this firms up the shape. So your shoe might end up here and you'd, you'd change that. So you just keep adding to it. So we start off and I think, oh yeah, I quite like that. And then because this one's totally different shape, I, m I would do it differently. So I might add one, let's do it beside you can see, there mm -hmm. to it, to add to the shape. And you build it up all the way up. So I kind of did the front. So just adding your S's, making them smaller if you need yep. to in if certain you, parts. If you need to, you tweak it, you can pull it in, you can stretch it out. And if you look at some of those, they've been stretched longer. And as you firm up it, when, you, when you're doing it tight, then you start really tweaking them to get, to get them to fit, to be perfect. I'm going to show you the very back of these as well, which we'll come to. Can you see? Now, <laughs> I put a few photographs on. And one of the photographs was some of those together for people to try and guess what it was. What it was going to do, anyone guess? No, not a clue. What but they the... did when I put that bit on, they yeah, guessed a shoe. Like, ah, a shoe! Where was I when you put that on? You were in horsey land. Oh yeah, I was. So we add all our pieces to that, and then we end up with something that looks like that. Oh! <laughs> When you get that, you just think it's nearly there, it's nearly there, it's nearly there. Obviously, if you're doing flat shoes, that'll yeah. go down in a flat way. So not up. this obviously is, is moulded on on that shoe, mm -hmm. and I looked at it and I thought, oh my gosh, this looks huge. These would fit me, not Jenny. I really did. And then you put it back on and you took it round and, you and it fits. That, yeah. So that's because I keep taking it off, and like I say, so I'll put the heel in, but it obviously will be the wrong shape. So I would put the heel in bring the shoe over and put it on. So you can have yeah. a look at this now. Actually, that looks good against the black shoe as well. It looks it? stunning against black. I, I did, I was trying to find another pair of shoes to come, but you can see where this hasn't got the platformy bit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that looks absolutely, the silver on a black shoe is absolutely incredible. And like, uh, was it Sissy said? Who, who was it who said? With if the, if, if you put some, some- Silver and gold, um, yeah rubies on this yes yes or have a red shoe with some rubies like with, oh no yeah it was uh, samina ruby, i think oh right ruby slippers because i went wizard of oz didn't i so yeah these are a totally different shape Lots but of that's what you're doing this has got to be the design of the year oh bless so you do that with your shoe until you're happy with it mm -hmm. and you leave it rough now as you can see i haven't actually done anything with the back and i've left oh, excuse me i've left these loose Okay. Deliberately, because as you're doing it, I could actually convert this to fit these shoes. Take a if couple off, and, yeah, yeah, because they're all roughly done, and you just tweak it. Okay. Okay. So that's what you do. When you're happy with your shoe like that, we go on to the next bit, which is, and we haven't even looked at the heel or the back or anything yet. Now, before we, you crack on to the next part, we have to go to a break. We're going to continue with Alison we're not going anywhere you are going to see exactly how to finish this project we will be back after this owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting 
but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the genuine gemstone company. Are you new to jewellery making? Then tune in to our Designer Inspiration Show every day between 1 and 5 for our new two sections. We'll help you get started and give you all the knowledge and inspiration you need. Also, we'll be introducing you to a new medium every day. Whether you're a beginner or intermediate, we've got everything you need to get you started with a new hobby. The Designer Inspiration Show, only on Jewellery Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Amelia is very happy. Yeah. Why are you happy, Amelia? Alison said she's going to make me a lovely pair of wedding shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my back. <laughs> Out my You're back. not allowed wedding shoes, Leah. We've told you, you are the man. <laughs> she's a woman. She's a woman. Just not quite so special heels. <laughs> oh, she's having a little cry. She wished she'd never asked you now. <laughs> now uh, <laughs> Amelia's all excited. But you don't work on jewellery maker, Leah. You're just moonlighting. Now, you're going to have to out-chew her. She? What happens when you've got two oh. bridezillas? Like, they're going to out try and outdo each other. Well, when I was getting married, um, Two people joined where I joined the council before I got married and both of them got married before me. How rude is that? So I said next time they do interviews I've got to check they're not going to get married before me. Otherwise we're not employing it's them. Not fair. But one of them was, was two ladies and we had f do you know what? I had a whole year of being girly and talking bridal. I've never been girly in my life. Forty odd years and I've you never been girly. One year <laughs> we love this woman. We did bridal. We love her. I think Amelia and Leah are going to end up being bridezillas, yeah. bride versus bride. That could be Darn. a good movie. Now, you've been asking, <laughs> you've been asking about different colourways of one mil wire, so we're going to give you some deals. First of all, I'm going to give you the copper wire and the antique bronze before we continue with the project. So the one mil is what's making the swirly whirlies and what is giving you that backbone, the heart designs uh, over the heels. You need one mil wire to be able mm. to complete this project. So we've got the vintage offer. All right, Leah. Leah went, <laughs> I want the wire work crown in that case. <laughs> I knew this had happened. Bride versus bride. £19 and 90 pence is what you should be paying, but we're going lower. Can I borrow that? ARGC67, you're going to borrow that? Yeah. Look, oh. at, look at this. Alison's already borrowed the copper. 14 95 for 20 metres and it looks... How many, how many do you think you use? Oh, how many metres do you reckon you use in all? Of the one mil? You it's don't use that. tons, the, the copper so you, I'd get, here. I'd get a shoe out, a, t a pair of shoes out of the 10 metres. Yeah, I would think so. That does look lovely it, against it that, doesn't it? Oh, the copper against the black is yeah. amazing. 
so good. Really gorgeous, isn't it? The colour, the colourway is beautiful. And then the copper and the antique bronze, I think, are together. stunning together. Amazing together. They'd have worked as well, wouldn't they? Oh, that, that would have worked Or a pair does. of white shoes yeah. or, what, I mean, any colour shoe, yeah. really. If you've got a coloured shoe, I mean, antique bronze goes with any colour because it's your classic brown. And, and let's face it, if you look in nature, brown goes with everything. I've got some shoes I'm wearing now, which are all different colours. And I brown reckon would go with that. That would be brilliant. Obviously, I've been in the, doing the horses in these as well. <laughs> Can you see? We'd need to cover that bit up. That's why. <laughs> Do you know what? If you if you're getting that point where you um, where your shoes have seen better days, covering them up with wire is mm -hmm. a good idea. Because these ones are my comfiest shoes. Are they? The ones I'm wearing now. Yeah. But you could put a heavier design on the bit that looked a bit worn. Yeah. But you've got to make sure it's not going to be where you majorly scuff it and you risk pulling it. When I drive and I lean on yeah, the back of Yeah, I, I wouldn't drive in them. And I wouldn't do the horses in them. You'd never get the muck out of no, the bits. No, I, I shouldn't do that anyway, actually, should I? <laughs> These would be special occasion ones, yeah. not teetering yeah. ones. No. <laughs> £14.95, ARG. C67. Now we've got some twisted wire because Alison's a bit partial to twisted mm -hmm. wire. Now we've got the 0 0.4, which makes 0 0.8 because yeah. two 0 0.4s together. Yeah. Um, now this would be good for adding a little few details, wouldn't it? But not yeah. for the whole frame, but just for adding a few details. Maybe you've got shoes in this colour and think, oh, perfect. Maybe you want to make some uh, flowers instead of a focal feature of gemstones at the front. We're going to give you the opportunity. Now I'm also giving you black and silver so you've got the monochrome but that's in one mil black and silver and Alison's breaking into my one mil copper, copper as we speak just having a play just bear with me a she's minute. having a bear, bear with, with moment uh, now with. we're gonna give to you all three not for 16.95 now if you haven't used this don't forget we have got the copper as well Alison's just pinched it you see I reckon with this because this is far more structural and like I say the point eight you could do details with and you could do say on the toe mm. or, or sort of in the places where you're not risking catching and rubbing. This is brilliant because it's so structural. To do something less um, organised, shall we say, than those shoes. I'm trying to think of okay, a word. Okay, so more of a random More organic, yeah. yeah. So you could start, let me unroll some. I love this. Is it Oops. great, that yeah. twisted wire? So let me show you the colours you're guessing. Alison's going to be... Uh, so you could I be doing... In? Are you good? No. Oh, you're squiggling. Right. So you could be doing <laughs> that sort of thing with them and have a really pair of funky shoes. Yes, yes, yes. A bit moschino. Yeah. Perfect. Because it will hold its shape. Now, I would... would we're going to use do the thingy tool later, aren't we? I would... Do, you'd flatten this. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the crosses, I'd put a little bit of wire around, and obviously you're wiring it to the top frame, the frame we've already got. We'd be wiring it just the same to the frame, yeah. which I'd probably make out of the twisted as well. And you could do that whole thing. But because this is the, the, the double one mil, yeah. really. Yeah, two yeah. mil, it's, it's, it's two. So it's that much stronger, and you could go to town with rough things like that, and I wouldn't worry too much about it because it'll hold its shape. Yeah. And let's face it, shoes shoes take quite a beating, even if you're being careful with yeah. them. Yeah. But you well, you're could, walking you could... on them; they're bearing your whole weight. Aren't so, they? so for your trainers, and who, did someone want a pair of Doc Martins? You could really fold something well, like that. Can you imagine up? Doc Martins? Other boots uh, are available. Oh, sorry, they're a brand, no. aren't they? Are they a brand? Caterpillar and um, uh, Timberland. Sorry. They're not as good as Doc Martens, though, are they? <laughs> but a high, you could have a high-sided one, and you could do almost like a cuff round it, so you could really sort of funk them up. And, and They'd be amazing. Do you remember the song on the young ones, Doc Martens Boots? Yeah. <laughs> I used to sing that when I was little. Anyway, <laughs> do you not remember no. that? Alexi Sale, Dr. Martens Boots. No, I don't remember that one. So, yeah, I would, these, these would be fabulous for something like that because they're so structural. And you could really, really go to town on that. And look at the price, twelve ninety five for all three. It's worth for it all just three. for a try for all three. Oh, wow, that's good. You may as well try it at that price, don't you think? Because yeah. you've got 30 days anyway. You can always send it back if you don't love it. But I just think it's always great to have a good old play with different types of wire. Could you imagine if you were as good as, as Michelle is? 
our wonderful guest designer Michelle, yeah. you could write your name down the side of the shoe in something like this. And if you're getting married, we could have <laughs> Leah and Amelia oh, shoes. Underneath, one says Leah and one says Amelia. Or underneath. you could write help. <laughs> <laughs> help. You're not allowed shoes. You're allowed shoes. So yeah. Oh, don't get all princessy, Leah. She's having a right old tantrum in there. <laughs> but the, I'm not allowed shoes now. What a nice cuff that'd make as well. It's gorgeous. Isn't I it? know. I love this. I think it's great for the hair. Oh yeah. You don't need shoes anyway. You're going to be riding a horse down the aisle, <gasps> Leah. Side saddle. Side saddle. Oh, she's not keen on that. Don't you like horses, Leah? I love horses. Amelia can already ride, can't you, Amelia? Yeah. <laughs> I gallop like a Not in the wedding girl. dress, you don't. No, no. <laughs> in a Western saddle. <gasps> They're so comfy. With I the love Western right saddles. They're down under their tummies. They're one of the like comfiest that. things I've ever ridden in. Are they? Yeah. Have you never ridden Western? No. It's like sitting in an armchair. I want to go on them. Um, I want to go across. <gasps> Dude ranch. The, I'd love to go on a ranch, yeah. That's my idea of a heavenly holiday. That is. Do you know where I'd love to go? Where? Dog sledding in Alaska. I'd love to do that too. I think we should do everything. Oh, I'd also yeah. want to go on safari, but the most thing I want to do is go on a, a ranch holiday. <laughs> so any of our American viewers listening who live on a ranch... If y'all live on a ranch... <laughs> those we've would got be loads sad. of uh, loads of you on the phone lines for this one at £12.95. pence. Uh, do make sure you are checking out Baskets, my lovers. Uh, we're going to bring that silver wire back on your screen, so you've got 100 metres of the one mil. You got 100 metres in the 0.4. <laughs> Great deal, Wonderf wonderfully versatile. And everybody wants to do the heels. The design of the year so far is uh, lots of text messages still coming through. Thank you for those. 60777 is the uh, number to be dialing if you want. Send us a text message from a UK Mobley phone. Let's continue right. with Le Design. So, how long oh, are we going for? We've got text first. Hang on. Oh, Hang on. Maybe sorry. glasses back on. I'm on the got as long as it takes you, darling. Alison Terry. You are amazing. She's from Wiltshire, so she probably talks like me. How do you even come up with these ideas? Truly an inspiration. Love from Lorna in Wiltshire. Where do you live in Wiltshire? Are you sitting around in devices a lot? Oh. Nice there. Now, I have to say a big thank you to a lady called Tony, who basically set me off down this path. She contact me, contacted me after I think I'd done the, the little booty show mm. and said she wanted a stiletto, stiletto for her daughter, a Y work stiletto for her daughter. Miniature or actual? Yeah, well, yeah. we talked about size and she said, oh, can you make it about six inches? And I said, do you know how big that's going to be? It would have been huge. So we ended up with one that was about this tall, mm -hmm. a pink stiletto. And uh, I thought, oh, that, that, well, I think I contacted you and said, oh, what do you think about this for a design yeah, inspiration? Yeah, I need. Yeah, yeah. And then, th and then she said, can you make it big enough to wear? And I went, well, no, because it wouldn't hold the structure. So then I started down the line of, of actually doing the shoes themselves. So thank you, Tony. Um, Tony, thank you, Tony. Oh, <laughs> Tony, it's because of you that Amelia's getting wire work wedding slippers. <laughs> and, I, and I believe her daughter liked the shoe. She's in America, uh, Australia. What's her so it went name? to Australia. Do you I don't know. I, I think it's Abby. Abby, if that's you sorry. in Australia and you've got some wire work shoes, please could you tell us if you love them? <laughs> thank you. She may not even watch, but. <laughs> anyway, so, Probably so in that's. Bed, it's that's like, what That's where it? the inspiration came from, from that. Thanks, so, Tony. Yeah, there you go. Right, so we've done our cage, as I call it. It's, just, it's almost fab like this. I used to prop it against a mug. It's fab and like it's that. just like, oh, look, my shoe. It is ace, <laughs> isn't it? It looks really weird like that, and then you get that, and you think, oh, it doesn't look quite so weird. So we've done this bit. I then started doing the heel. Uh, Back to my Let's have a little look see at the actual heel. I can't wait to take these home. Do da, do da. <laughs> right. As I said, I've got little bits. Oh, I got one missing. Two, three, four. There it is. So I made little little you can tell what I was doing on the boat. So I, I, I like thought. Little musical yeah, notes. You always ask me for sizes, so I thought I'm going to keep one scroll oh, well done. and I one of each so that I know exactly what I've done with all of them. Otherwise, I know that I'd be like, well, I need to know sizes. I'm following like a, a, an instruction manual. Yeah. And so, like I said, I will actually measure them. I meant to do it before on a piece of paper, but. Um, Cass has kindly photographed them, so I'll go on and, and I'll measure the size and you can have a look. 
So if you print it off and you make that, you scale that to the right size, you'll oh. get the scroll if you want to copy the scrolls. So for the heel, now what I needed to do, as you notice, it narrows quite a bit. So you've got to have your scrolls going narrower at the bottom. You can see that. So the swirl's larger here and the little and S then, curls in yeah. narrow. Skinny at the bottom because you're gathering it. It's going to fan out almost, isn't it? Yeah. So again, I started off roughly just chopping a bit off each one as we went down in size and, play, and playing with the shapes. I do apologise. I'm not sure what I've eaten. And you could do it, you could do it any which way. Now, on the tiara, which is using these exact same ones, if you see how I've done them on there, if I turn that one over, that's half of your tiara. If you Oh, yes, look yeah. at the tiara. So there you go, Leah. that actually forms half of your tiara with those. Gorgeous. So that's your, your matching half there. So it was just, it was just, oh, when I did it and I put them together before I wrapped it together, I thought, oh, that would go quite nicely <laughs> as a little. So if you're having an updo, I think it'd look really nice in, in front of a little bun. Yeah, or, and me. I mean, you could use it and if stick I'm it up. If I'm having bridesmaids, they're all going to have those in. Okay. <laughs> in my fictional but, wedding. And, and I'll show you how I did this bit as well, because you could, you could take that and put it on a conventional headband, mm. but I didn't have any on the boat, so. I you made didn't a little. Have any headbands on that boat of no, yours. Who do you can know believe what? that? He restricted. I had one huge, enormous bag of stuff that I took, and he wouldn't let me take any more. Have you got one of those special key rings where if you drop your keys in the water, oh, yeah. it makes them float? Yeah. Yeah. Every However, boat has got one. I've got so many keys on it, it <laughs> would sink. <laughs> yeah. But the little bobble. You buy the thing that inflates, though, can't you, when it gets to water? Oh, we haven't got one of those. Yeah. No, no, we got the, we got the little bowl. And uh, yeah, if one. you drop it, I'm, I've, I've got it in there. And if you drop it, no, I haven't. They all float. It will float. So even though the keys would all sink, we could still hook them out with a boat hook. Ah. Ah. But all the uh, all the keys we've got on the boat, so all the little keys, they've got one and it would yeah, float. Yeah, they're fab. It. Yeah, they they're are. Fab. And they're great if you walk in the dogs and you need their attention because you've got a bully. <laughs> <laughs> Dual purpose, um. never waste anything. That's me. <laughs> Right, so you decide whether you're going to have your heart in the middle at the top or I followed the pattern of the other one. Did I put the heart at the bottom, didn't I? You've got the black heart, yeah, the, the black upside heart down heart. The bottom. Okay, so you could either do them all the same way or you can play with that whichever way. And again, I've just wrapped top and bottom with each of them. Now on that, I must say, when I was doing the, show, the, the shoe, to try and make it neater, each one's only got four wraps round and I actually counted each one. Oh yeah. Four wraps and then pull it through top and bottom. Four wraps, pull it through top and bottom. And every single join I did, apart from the two teeniest little scrolls on the heel, which you can't see because they're inside, I've got four rounds top and bottom. Which you so can there see. you go. Okay. Perfect. So we wrap all those together and we end up, obviously this is, like I say, the rough one and it starts looking a bit like spaghetti. because. You've got all these bits to I trim off it. everywhere. So we did that. <laughs> Amelia's got a, a load of ransom notes there. She's rustling through. <laughs> so we did that. And then once you... <laughs> Amelia's gone mad. <laughs> Stop chasing your tail and sit down. Right. Before I put it on the heel, I did do the gemstones, but I wanted to see if it had fit. And as you can see, different heels will have a different slope there. Yeah, we were just saying that. I bet yeah. the other ones have got like a real curve to them. Now for these, that wouldn't work so much. You'd have to sort of go like that more. Now let's have a look. Let me try and do this so that I don't actually trash. Ow. Sorry, we're breathing quite heavily down oh, our mics I? then when we were oh. looking. Guest designer Marcel uh, Michel from Gloucestershire, who is in on Sunday. She is. Am I in on? Hello, yeah. Michelle. I've, I've swapped it with, um, with Lucy. Hi, Jen and Alison. Hello, my lover, Alison. I have done heels, uh, heeled shoes that, uh, heelless shoes that need your magic. Loving the show. Much love, Michelle and Gloucester. Our See little lover. She needs some. She needs your magic. 
She's in on she Sunday. Has, she has lots of magic, she does has Michelle. She's amazing. Magic, right, so with these, I would go, I would ignore the last two so that you're almost at the corner. And then you need to definitely have a, a, a corner on these. So I'm going to put that down there and see if we can make it turn the corner. So don't can forget you this see? is on YouTube afterwards as well. Please don't forget that. Can you see how I'm turning the corner and you bend it to fit round mm -hmm. that bit? Yeah. And you do that for both sides so that they just joined in the middle. So you can still do it. But and you've you still got all your little it. tails out on purpose because yeah. you're going to put your gemstones on there. Yeah, well, I'll take those off before I do the gemstones. But while I'm still making it fit, when I, when I tighten these, what I'll do is I'll pull them, pull them tight, make sure those are all neat mm -hmm. and, and, and squidge them. But that then has the habit of holding that in place. Whereas now it's all flexible and I can move it, yeah. it will fix it more ah. and help it give it some rigidity. Mm, okay. So that's why I've left it loose like this. So that until I've got exactly where I want it to be, I can move it around a bit. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we go down there like that. I want those straight. So it would look something a bit more like that for your other shoe. So you've got a flat bit at the back and a rounded bit, and that's never going to show up. Let me try that way, Cass. That would be flat. Thank God you didn't do this invention when everybody in your office was getting married, because you'd have been <laughs> yeah. inundated. Do you know what? I nearly did this on my shoes for the wedding, but then I started working at Jewelry Maker and I didn't have time and some things had to go, so I ended up not doing it. It's all our fault. It is. But I, I wish you were married now because we'd all be there now. My wedding was perfect. So. But we weren't there. Alison. You weren't. You'd have had a great time. It I know. Was, it was a fab I'd have been wedding. There doing fab. that thing I always do when I get drunk, <laughs> making someone be Patrick Swayze so I can be baby and do the running. <laughs> yeah, they tried to get me and John to do that. It's not going to happen. Well, <laughs> I wanted him in one piece. <laughs> They're like, oh, go on, he'll catch you. No one ever yeah. survives that move. <laughs> I've well, never ended that in a good way. No, well, well, you have to do it in the water, don't you? You what, sorry? You have to do it in the water first. Yeah. I've watched the I'll movie. I've that. We I all have. watched the movie. We've got, a, um, we've got a question. What would happen if the shoes got wet? What if it rained? Well, the wire would be all right. right, wouldn't it? It'd be the shoe. I know what you're saying. How do you clean them or okay. do something with them? I mean, these are a, a suede type. You can actually take this off. I know I've stitched it on the top, but you could quite easily get that off and redo it. And all that's holding it together is the stitching at the top, these two bits here, and that's it. Uh, and the, I think and though, the bit you're going to wear a pair of shoes, an expensive pair of shoes, you would always take a you, pair you, of... I, if I'm like going out to dinner or something, and it's like we have to get the tube or whatever, I put a pair of flats in my bag. Yeah. And I always just swap over. If there's something that you just are, are really sacred to you, you walk about in the, you plan ahead. Yeah. yeah, you just take a pair of flats for the journey yeah. and then only put them in while you're on, put them on while you're about to go inside. You, 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 basically, yes, they do make it difficult to clean your shoe. You could take it off. If the shoes got drenched, I would take it off and find another pair of shoes that I could put that on, if you see what I mean. So it's not... Yeah. It's not, because I haven't it's glued it. It's not unfixable. It's not unfixable. If you wanted to glue it, you could, but then you, it is, it's stuck on the shoe. So if you, if you lose your shoe, it's gone. A bit of a Cinderella situation, yeah. I'm afraid. Now, um, we are getting questions. How much would you do these for? A lot of people asking to buy these from you. If, if they were to ask you for a commission, how much would you, how much somebody contacts you, how much would you, um, would you charge? I would be looking a minimum, depending, uh, it, it, right, there's lots of factors. Would I supply shoe the shoe size. as well? Shoe size, do you supply the shoe? Am I buying the shoe? Let's presume you are, you are being supplied with the shoe. Right, okay. And it, of course, depends on the gemstones. So if you're looking for an emerald and, oh, could you imagine putting the, you know, the diamond chips you have? Oh, could you imagine those on one of these? Oh, my goodness. You feel like Beyonce. Oh, my goodness. You could just do the heel and have diamonds all down your heels, couldn't you? Oh. You would feel a bit like a celebrity, though, they weren't you? They weren't giving me quite that much. Sorry. <laughs> emeralds. You've got emeralds. You've got emerald on there. Um, so let's, let's say I would start probably a minimum of 150. I would be looking at a minimum. Pounds. They take quite a bit of time 
to do. I know I've said, oh, you sit on the boat, you just do this. Well, that took, just, just ch clipping these, you know, measuring clip, measuring clip, takes you, probably take you about an hour to do 40 odd. Mm. And then you've got all the other bits and then you've got to coil, coil them. It took me, we were away for two weeks and obviously I wasn't working on them for two weeks solid, but I worked on them every day for that two weeks. Okay. So it takes you quite a lot of time to do them and to do them, there's two shoes. I would be looking for, and it depends then on what wire do you want, what stones do you want. Can I pay you an instalment? <laughs> Lucky for you, you get the prototype free. Oh, I love you. And lucky for Amelia, she gets hers as a wedding present. <laughs> what should we buy Alison? Let's buy her something. Don't have to buy Alison something. If you wanted, you could, these little, these little smoky quartz, I loved. Now, if I wanted to do, I would do the whole shoe in those little smoky quartz mm. with nothing else, and it would just look like a glitter because they pick the light up and sparkle so you could do the whole shoe in those little smoky quartz it would look amazing so of course it depends on how much gemstone you're putting on are and you just what doing the gemstones are and what well. the gemstones you know are you going to have rubies are you going to have rubies slippers? you know those pearls you could do in that those pearls would do you a pair of shoes very nicely oh beautiful pearl shoes absolutely so it it depends on all sorts of factors but i would start at a minimum of 150. Easy. So this could be a major profit maker for you, and you've got to consider now that that wire <laughs> is a brilliant blooming deal, eh? And the gemstones. So we're yeah. going to move on yeah. and see what the next part of yeah. the project is. If if you want to contact Alison and you would like to commission a pair of shoes, um, obviously depending on Alison's um, arrangements and things, uh, you can get hold of Alison through Facebook. Now um, we're going to go. What we're we doing, we're going over there and then we're going to come back for the gemstone edition. Right, we're going to go over to give you, um, Alison's got another project which we're only going to touch on quickly and then we're going to concentrate again on the shoes. So I'm going to let you get ready for the gemstone right. setting okay. and we're going to come back in a second. So if you want the next part of the shoe project, it is on its way. Now we gave Alison, just take, <laughs> take this off down. We gave Alison um, another project, which uh, were some amazing charms. Now, we're going to um, touch on those very, very quickly. Um, we're going to do that in half an hour. I am, of course, wearing the earrings. Rude not to. They get, you've got charms, little dolphin charms, amazing. My charms oh, are missing, just... by the way, from here. Just so you know. Oh, no, they're not. They're here, uh, which I'll show you those later. Now, first of all, we're going to give you some different gemstones. Uh, perhaps you are going to want to toy around with some different gemstones. Um, I'm going to give you some drops, first of all, of emerald. Um, I do like the idea of having uh, emeralds and rubies on your shoes. It is a bit princessy, isn't it? Mm. Uh, now, these emeralds are going to be wonderful for earrings. If you're going to wear the shoes with the emeralds on them, uh, you might want a pair of earrings to match. Have a look at the colour, really deep, really intense, very Christmassy with some golds. And I love the fact that, that these have been faceted absolutely beautifully as well. Uh, the, uh, they are top jewels, so they're going to make lovely flowers. They're going to make great earrings on some chain. They're going to be really versatile, really easy to use. UBR U10 is your item code. You've got 40 carats of emeralds all together at just £9.95 for emerald for real general general genuine I think general about them genuine emerald they're absolutely gorgeous what are you going to do with yours are you going to put them on a little stud earring back are you going to add them as little droppers to a pair of shoes maybe you're thinking about those uh, about those sort of flip-flop ideas as well 9.95 for emerald I've got one two three four five six seven eight 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 on my strand. They're mirror graduated, ranging from 8 by 5 to 15 by 10 on the graduations on an 18 centimetre strand. They are June's birth gems. And how gorgeous would they be in a necklace like this? They're just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. If you've got a strap across your shoe, let's have a look at actually thinking perhaps about putting a strap across, like a pretty strap across the shoe that would be really nice wouldn't it yeah like a little buckle strap you could do that that's a nice idea actually isn't it it does go of course it matches the emerald perfectly that's quite a nice idea or around the ankle I like that. Don't, you know, don't just stop at um, our ideas. Use your own as well. Make sure you're checking out your baskets for this. We're really busy today, as you can imagine. Uh, and I'm now going to give you some different emeralds uh, to 
really mix up very low stock of these now i really like this strand because it's got a mix of all the different colors of emeralds that we like we've got these deep brazilian emeralds it's got some fabulous vibrant zambian emeralds on here as well which just i mean it ekes quality it oozes quality doesn't it i love the natural properties of these colors they look so pretty so wearable itru14 is your item code we should was 795 shut up danny shut up stop it <laughs> stop it they're real emerald why are they only 695 they're emeralds you fool uh, because he loves it you're mad you're gonna get into again again a another strap across that'd be nice as well wouldn't it a strap shoe because you could, you could do just a wrap them around you it down there like you that. could do a t-bar obviously they'd, they'd be going up there and up there now if you wrapped it around some elastic yeah and then attached it to the side because you could just it, even if your shoe hasn't got that decoration you could add it on yeah i think that's mad what emerald for six, is it real emerald real <laughs> emerald 100% genuine undeniably 100% genuine emerald 695 i think this is too low but i love that you're getting it for this price tag itr u14 is your item code let me see all your gorgeous names there you have got a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're shopping with us so we don't have many of these left james persis zoe kellyanne and patricia eleanor beatrice susan tina mary sally loads of you there anonymous in middlesex i've got uh, jewelry makers in hertfordshire essex uh, falkirk i've got jill in cambridgeshire greater london geraldine in county cork that's where the that's where the clear is come from yeah Irish. we're from cork yeah yeah can you not tell uh, <laughs> what well, my gloucester accent gives it away doesn't it <laughs> no uh we're gonna give oh, i love this garnet you're gonna really like this have a look i want to show you the clarity carol launched she was so lucky and actually lucy and i had a little bit of a presented tantrum over it look at it absolutely beautiful you're not going to believe the price tag we oh, wanted it in much. our show because you're getting real value for money on this one but look at that color that's gorgeous oh i love this strand this is my favorite garnet strand i love it look at the that's exactly what you want isn't yeah. it in a garnet strand the yeah, color yeah. the clarity the facets the mirror graduation i think it's gonna be amazing in a winter wedding tiara oh. i think it'd be beautiful in earrings stunning in a necklace it just you just need it if you love that color look here at the clarity now if you went to tiffany and co and saw a garnet piece you'd expect to see garnet like that wouldn't you if you went to cartier if you went to gucci if you went to prada looked at their jewelry and you wanted the perfect garnet i think you'd uh, you'd get this kind of garnet it's said to be india's heartbeat gemologists dubbed this the king of gemstones because of the way it's made up have a look i think that's the perfect garnet that ticks every box for me that's like sipping on a mulled wine on a winter's day it's that color isn't it gorgeous imagine this was spicy oranges and oh lovely copper wire oh put it with a little bit of um, mandarin mandarin garnet yeah oh then you've got your mulled wine with your touch of that a little bit of emerald for your for your limes oh I think we should bring in one of those cauldrons and just make mulled wine for the whole of Christmas. Look oh, at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a spicy old Christmas this year. Those incredible cinnamon reds is what you've got. I love it. It's January's birth gemstone. You've got to have this one. Catherine's already got hers. Tina, Jenny in Surrey, Lynn, Pat, Beverly, Beatrice, Sue, Anonymous in Staffs, VH in Surrey. And you've got yours. There's loads of you in already. YZR, U56, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. For me, it's all about the fact that you're twinning the clarity and the color. Now that's, that's a striking combination right there. Isn't it? Look at that, yeah. look at that clarity. Look at the cut, they're gorgeous. Oh, they're gorgeous. I would put that one in a prong set ring, wouldn't you? The large one. Ooh, Imagine yeah. a garnet prong set ring out of that one. That's super deep, super intense. I love that color. That wonderful plum jam red, isn't it? Imagine that with some of these pearls. 
Mm. Bon mammal. I've never had bon mammal. <laughs> oh, it's something, something French we haven't had. Fiona in London, you've got yours. I'm seeing so many of your names on my screens right now. Remember your 30 day money back guarantee. And don't forget to multiply because this is going under 20 pounds. You've got silver spacer bars. Silver spacer balls in between each one. Now Garnet, the king of gemstones. Oh, do you know what this would be lovely with Peridot? Oh yeah. I've got some somewhere. You've got some Peridot on. Yeah, <gasps> lush Peridot as well. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's vibrant. That is my favourite combination. <gasps> Maybe a pearl in there as well. Look at this, jewellery makers. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, I like that Peridot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I am a garnet lover. Look at that. It's like, the, I'm singing it to the tune of I Am A Cider Drinker by The Wurzels, my son's favourite song. Uwara uwara. Uwara uwara. For garnet with clarity, for garnet with rich colour, for garnet with that wonderful fasting in that teardrop shape, 11 95 because of the versatility, because of the colour, because of the clarity, is an absolute steal. Make sure you've got yours. Lynn in Somerset, very cleverly, has bought three. Geraldine in County Cork, where the Clearies have just finished doing a documentary on uh, Cork Marina, I think it was. <laughs> Might have caught that. 11 95 my Uncle Paul, that was. YZR U56, 90 carats. Wouldn't let me on the documentary. I wasn't Irish enough. Oh. Uncle Paul. Zena in Cambridge has got two. Geraldine will let me in Cork. I can do what's better than him. He's got a London accent. £11.95 is what you've got there. 0806, oh, 444655. It's just gorgeous. Go on, isn't it, Alison? It's, it's gorgeous. absolutely stunning. Got to have it. Is it that price, yeah? I'd get, I would, I would multi-buy on that because it's going to be yeah. Christmas and the, these are the colours. Mandarin yeah. garnet, Hessonite garnet, you see uh, expensive prices. Uh, you know what, the thing, the thing is, this has got all the tick your boxes, hasn't it? It's got that clarity, it's got that depth, you've got the larger ones, you've got the smaller ones. Can you see? I mean, it's glowing. Look at that colour. Danny just called me Jinnai. Look at that. I love it. Now these are the, tink the little teeny tinklers. It, yeah. Teeny tinklers in a, in a cascade earring with your hair up so the, the, the light flickers behind it. Oh. Being taken out for dinner. Oh, absolutely. Candlelight flickering through it. Oh, I better have a bit of that when I get home later. You'd have to, you'd have to go somewhere in those posh. Shoes. <laughs> 11.95 below to see there. YZR U56, is your item code 90 carats. Uh, don't forget to get yours in your basket and check the, your basket out. Joanne in Arizona, hello Joanne. Hello to uh, Shamaya, you have, I haven't seen you in a while. Jennifer's in Gwent, I love you Gwentonians, I do. Uh, YZR U56, I noticed in Gwent that they're still fans of the cider lolly, which I'm loving. Oh. Oh, God, cider lollies. Yeah, <gasps> got to have one of them. 11.95, half have gone, still, of course, 50% of the stock remaining. So don't hesitate in coming in for those. Loads of you on the phone lines already, well done. Now, can we do that, Peridot? My favourite. That is stunning, that Peridot. I've got loads of things that this goes with. Loads of things that it goes with. Wait there, wait there. First of all, of course, I showed you. I'm going to mix all the box numbers up now, aren't I? <laughs> oh, calm down, Amelia. Now, some people, I had to say this to my other half, just calm down. Have a look. It doesn't matter. It's just life. Have a look. Life with you. Life with me, yeah. That Peridot is glorious. I blooming well love I that. It's a long time since I've peri seen Peridot of that intense colour. And, the, and the Briolette cut as well, Alison. That is where it's, yeah. that's where it's at. The both things, it's isn't it? Incredible. Look at what I've got coming up. Look at this pink sapphire and look at it together. <gasps> Hello. Oh, wow. Get that in my life immediately. I love it. We see green's another thing that goes with everything, isn't it? Then look, I've got yellow sapphires. Look at this. We're ready, ready, ready. <laughs> 
Oh, you could be in Tiffany and Co, oh. couldn't you? Look at that. Look at that. Wow. I love that. That's a pair that. of shoes, isn't it? That is one pair of shoes. <laughs> I once bought shoes of this colour in Japan. Oh, did you? After they gave me this crazy medicine that made me see things. <laughs> yeah, and I rang my mum and told her I was dying. She said, what can I do about it? You're in Japan. <laughs> I got the medicine from, I don't know, a pharmacist. I had the flu. And I went in there, told him what was wrong with me, gave me, the, gave me these tablets. And he said, take, what he said was, in my ears, take two every hour or something, but realistically said, take one every two days or something like that. <laughs> well, I, got, I was stood on my stand like this. My boss went, I think you ought to go home. I sat on this tube. I, people were going spinning around. I, my heart was going boom, 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 boom. My brother's fluent in Japanese. I went home, I showed him the tablets. He went, you complete moron. It's like a million percent caffeine. <gasps> oh my God. And I could, I've never felt that crazy in my life. I was sweating, crying, hyperventilating. Oh I rang my, my mum and went, this is definitely it. I'm on my way out. Can't believe her reaction. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Why are you ringing me? That's my daughter. I'd be on that plane. Now, oh, Danny, are you joking? No, that's not fair. Nine ninety-five. No, Can you get fair. me some of these, please? Somebody, look at these. Look, look at that with the cashew pearls. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my god! Look, look at those cashew pearls. Oh, I love that. That is just incredible. Oh, I love it. I love these. Look at the cut that you're getting. They're all in little clusters as well. What about a ring? Oh my gosh, Alison, what about a cluster ring? ring? Oh Absolute my gosh! Fab. Look. Look at that clustered. Look at that intense colour. Amazing. Oh my, oh, do you know it reminds me of Rachel Norris with the, you know the um, inspirations oh, the, with nature, their little drops. The oh. colour lily she did with the green and the silver oh, wire. Oh, I love that lady. Oh, amazing. Seriously. Look at this. That. Seriously. Very popular. This. Oh. I bet it is. Oh, I love it. Well done to everybody that's got this. Jenny in Surrey's got two. Anonymous in Greater London, three for you. Jacqueline, Beverly, Julie, and Belinda. Michelle, uh, Shamala, Justine, Beverly, uh, Eleanor in L'Exemple, Beatrice, you've got yours in Stasus uh, in Lanarkshire. Uh, Michelle in London, I, I just think you've Take just on. got yourself some of the, that's the best peridot we got in stock, don't you reckon? And it's a bargain price. It's absolutely bonkers I can't price. believe it. And it's August birth gemstone. Yeah. It's August this week. <gasps> oh my gosh, where's Hang that year gone? Hang on a minute, Kaz, it's your birthday next week. Ooh. When When's you actually be 20... 19th. It's my daughter's 29th of August. It's gonna be an expensive month. My sister's month. on the 11th. And Lee's, and my dad's, and your sister's. Mm. We'll be broke, we will, now. Have a look, especially after my... I'll be dead by your birthday, thanks. Oh. I did not say that. I said, uh, Hannah Bennett, by Hannah Bennett's wedding. She's not getting married for like 10 years. I was like, I'll be dead by then. I hope not. Perhaps say that when we're not live on air. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look. Shh. She was just complaining about the weight of the wedding as well. Shocking pink, top drilled Keshi pearls. <laughs> Look at what you've got. That is phenomenal colour, that. That is unbelievable. Look at that. Unbelievable. Keshi pearls in tiaras. Mm. Keshi pearls in clusters. Keshi pearls in wedding pieces. Keshi pearls with the amethyst chain that I'm about to bring to you. Keshi pearls with... What about that pink, pink, uh, yeah. With which Ooh. one? The pink, the pink, um, strand sapphire. Jab, sapphire. Thank you. Yes. Couldn't get the word out. Alison Terry get going pink. I know it's terrible. It's terrible. Absolutely I've been, beautiful. I've is been this. infected. You have been affected. I have Shoes infected. pink. She's not the Terry you used to know. No. It's 
going girly it's not good for me she's going she's going she's going crazy <laughs> i think with that peridot what would you make what do you use keshi pearls oh i love for, keshi I pearls i love the texture of the keshi pearls and i love using a lot of them to really give that different texture and shape and i think they're so funky but i put those with some black either black wire or um black onyx or something like that or um, <gasps> black onyx yes or yes yes black diamonds i missed those as well we didn't have a signal when were huh? we you... didn't have a signal i missed those black diamonds oh gutted. alison why don't you text me <gasps> absolutely gutted Zena, my gorgeous Zena, in Greater London. Buy in three. Paula, Pamela, in Monmouthshire. Is that your Pamela? No, no, no. Jude, <laughs> Beverly, Just Susan, you. Jane, uh, West Yorkshire, Joanne, Paul, Michelle, in Suffolk. Loads of you in love with these. They look silky, don't they? They've got that wonderful, Gorgeous. almost satin glaze to them. Mm. They're just nine ninety five, and they're absolutely wonderful, aren't they? Oh eight hundred six triple four six triple five. You love them, need them, want them. Come through and grab them, but make sure Joanne in Arizona's got these as well. I've got Veronica in West Lothian loads of you loving these well done beverly and jude shopping from norfolk i love norfolk you're lucky living there x yp084 what are you going to do with yours they're going in tiaras and fascinators are you going to cluster them are they going in to into bridal pieces we've got a, another text for alison terry it's a bit of terry time uh michelle in suffolk says it's the love bug um Alison, what, hang on, um, that's why you're loving pink. Oh, um, you've got the love bug. The love bug. I used to have one of those. What, a, a love toy bug? one, yeah. With she's one on the side. She's saying you're in love. You're I'm, not, I am she's in love. A, she's not a softie, Alison. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I am in love. Oh, no, oh. I am. When you fetched me flowers on air once. I was in, I was in Did bits. Did When was that? Oh, it was a while ago. I love John. He's a sweet. He's a good one, he is. He is a good one indeed. He's when did you know you loved him? Because you were friends oh, for I don't ages. Know. We were friends for I don't know. It Who wasn't... made the first leap of kiss? Oh, I don't know. You do? <laughs> was it in the pub? It was on the boat. It was on the boat? Hang on, he invited you onto his boat. We knew what he was up to. Hey up, John. <laughs> we know what you're on about. Anyway, moving on. Oh, I want to know. I'm going to interview her. So, when did you know you loved John? Uh, Jane, going to turn these pearls into earrings uh, and wear it for Pink Day fundraising. Yes. Fabulous. Good on you. Yeah, they're that pink, aren't they? Yeah. Hope you lo I hope you raise loads. Me too. Me too. Nine ninety five. Is your price tag. Good luck, Jane, my lovely. Uh, Nancy, you've got yours. Hazel and Martinshire, you've got yours. Elizabeth and Judith and Irene and Geraldine in Gloucestershire. Pat's got two in Essex. Now, what am I doing? Can we do these turquoise? Do you know why? They remind me, you know Fabergé eggs? Mm. Have a look at these. They remind me. And there's, um, my auntie Jean has got this vase, which is real oh. antique. Wow. And it reminds me of that, you know, that pattern yeah, on the yeah. bold colour behind. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, look at that. Really Fabergé strand, isn't it? Now, this is 100% natural. When you look at it, it looks really antique -y. It looks really ancient, like, um, like, like it should be locked up in a museum because it's priceless. Don't you think? Oh, I love, I love turquoise. Let's get really close and intricate with this turquoise because the detail is absolutely fascinating don't you think it looks verdigris don't you think it, look, it does it remind you of a roman goddess do you know what i mean yeah though? yeah very grecian no very roman grecian. sorry very no. yeah or either or no. act, actually also very um native american and i do yes. apologize if i've not been politically bit correct. uh bit feathers yeah and suede. Yeah. yeah yeah do a nice um thingy catcher out of wire dream catcher and have that dangling oh. down below with some feathers I love this. I'd want to mm. wear it. I'd want it on my yeah. finger. I want it in a ring. I want to, yeah, I want to hang it from something. I want to see this. This is, this really is something else. Make a stonking ring with some of those pieces. Beautiful. Absolutely stonking rings. And, and I would get it valued, you know, and I would only oh, yeah. use real silver or gold with mm. it because this really is one of those strands that um, 
that is going to set that mark for you as a designer. It's one of those strands you're going to get home, you're going to look at it, and you're going to be mesmerized straight away because it's really detailed, really colorful, really striking, and it's totally and utterly natural. So already when we see totally and utterly, is it your favorite strand of turquoise? Dan is saying it's his best he's ever seen. I think it's got to be, I, got, I think, I, I'll tell you what, because it reminds me of Fabergé so much, and because it is very Roman in its ways, I'm a big fan of the book Spartacus, and I like to imagine, you know, I, I really, I really like this. Have you ever read Spartacus? I haven't. I've only Howard ever seen Fast. the original mo movie. Howard Fast with Spartacus. I think it's really, really beautiful. You've got the matrix running through these, and I, and I think you look at these, and you're act actually quite poetic, isn't it? Mm. Look, look at turquoise that. Turquoise is that sort of stone, isn't it? It takes you away. It's ancient, and it really takes you away somewhere else. I agree with that. I really do. For, if, if, from the Romans to the Egyptians, mm. they were great lovers of using this gemstone in their precious pieces, whether it's yeah. an ornament or a trinket or, uh, or, or anything like that. Yes. Have a look at this <gasps> Fabergé wow. turquoise. Have a look at this. Let's oh, have a look at love, it. Love, 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 love. Let's have a look at this Fabergé turquoise. Here we go. Wow. Now, that, that is, is a turquoise, oh. isn't it? Look at that. That Fabergé and enamelling and real turquoise together. That's what it reminds me of. This, this strand is so Fabergé. Uh, but, I mean, there are other designers, of course. There's Gucci, there's Prada. Go and have a do, do your own research. There's so much. There's Tiffany and Co to research from. So much inspiration out there on the website. This is very high end, very expensive looking. Probably the creme de la creme as far as turquoise strands go. I look for that. You look for the matrix. You see that golden matrix? Yeah. That's something you don't. You normally see a black matrix. You don't see that golden very often. And if you're seeing a golden matrix, I would automatically presume I'm seeing an ancient piece here, uh, or, or a piece from a collection out of Fabergé or Tiffany & Co, or somewhere really exclusive. You know, I bought this from Summer Biz or something. Mm. You know, it's really, I mean, this, this is something else. And, and actually, actually, I, I feel like we're being a bit naughty giving it to you because I feel like it should be in a museum. It should be in a collection. And um, perhaps we came across it by accident. Perhaps we did. You know, the whole um, the whole adventure of us finding gemstones and bringing them to to screen. It's it's not an accident, isn't it? There is an adventure about uh, being a gemologist, and that's why there's programs, the Gem Hunter, and things like that. You know. Have a look. I know my other half has done it. He's gone out and done a, a program on gem hunting, and oh, it's has he? yeah, it's on one of the channels at the moment. He spent years doing oh, that, and it's something, you know, I get lectures that. every day on gemstones oh. from him. And, and actually realizing the importance and the, the journey that you have to go on to get these. I mean, it, mm. I, I, I don't want to hype it up like Indiana Jones, but I got myself my own Harrison Ford at home. <laughs> and uh, perhaps a Harrison Ford has gone on that little um, journey for you. Look at this. R Y J N67. Anne, Anonymous in Merseyside, Veronica, Pamela, Jenny, Leslie, Anna, uh, Anonymous in Yorkshire, Jacqueline and Cumbria. You're all on this one. All yours for just £34.95. An amazing value, outstanding quality. We've just seen pieces from Fabergé, pieces that are auctioned at Sotheby's, pieces that are hundreds of thousands and thousands of pounds. And I'm giving this wonderful strand, you get it valued, please. You can send it back if you don't love it. You can send it back if it doesn't get valued to the price that you're happy with. But my goodness, at 34 95 snap it up. Snap it up and make something outstandingly beautiful. Put it with gold, real gold. Oh. Absolutely. Put this with your enamels. Look at the ancient Egyptian pieces. Look at the Roman pieces. Look at Fabergé. Look at Cartier. Look at Summer Biz. Go and have a look at some of the wonderful relics that are coming out of, uh, of the museums as well at 34 95 I know you're going to enjoy every, every piece on this strand and make it something special. Just one, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 9, 10, 11 on my strand. This is 100% natural turquoise. December's birth gemstone. And there are so many of you grabbing this. Please do make sure that you are checking out your baskets because there's a large chance that you're going to miss out. You've got 50 carats all together. So, in your second time it's been on air. 
and look how many people are grabbing this. I've never had it on our afternoon show before, so I'm absolutely, absolutely privileged actually to bring it to you. I went a bit brummy then, didn't I? Eleanor in L'Example, this is going to you. And, and actually, uh, very Gaudi this colour as well. Uh, L'Example is not too far away from Barcelona, I'm told. All right. Very, have you ever been to uh, Barcelona? I have got to go. The Gaudi, yeah. You go mad for the Gaudi. You go mm. mad for Barcelona. Next mm. time. You don't like flying, do you? I don't mind flying. Oh, you don't mind don't flying. Fly. Get over there, girl. Oh, it's all right. There. I've dropped hints for the next trip. Yeah, drop hints now. Uh, Ali Defoy, have you seen these? What size shoe are you? <laughs> these would fit you. Come and put your feet in them. You can't have them, but you can put your feet in them. Come on, cinders. Come on. Let's be very clear that you can only borrow these. Put your foot in there. Come on. Come on. We need a shot of your legs, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. How much do you love those? I am in love with these. We can run in heels, can't we? Yes. They're like, how can you walk? We can trot and everything. Look at these, oh, woo! Gosh. They look lovely with jeans as well. Alison, these are amazing. Aren't they? <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't it amazing? Do you want the other one? Try both on, have a little. And they're very comfortable, aren't they? Turn yourself towards Mikey. Pop them on. Come on. Oh. She's too busy going. Oh. Sorry. Look. Oh, they do Ali Defoy is coming up for you at five o'clock. She is your. They look good with jeans, Ali. Yeah. I love yes, them. Yes, I know. Now take them off. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> take the shoes off. They're everywhere. Isn't it amazing? Oh my gosh. I must, I must have. I know. Gotta have them. Need, need. It's not a want, it's a need. I need them. I need them. Anyone who's got a little girl knows about, I need them. It's the first sentence my daughter says. I need it. Loved it. Now, I'm going to give you a brand new, brand new strands. <laughs> Uh, we got a second quick designer inspiration for you, and I love. We got brand new charms as well. I love these charms so much. Oh, the charms are gorgeous. Let's do the charms first. <gasps> you are going to go mad for these, and the price tag is ridiculous. You've got so much silver. Right, you are about to fall in love with these charms. Just get yourself on the phone lines. Believe me. Believe me. Elephants. Elephants. Do I get three, ele four elephants? One's gone missing, curiously enough. Well, you get three elephants. I love elephants because they stay together as a family for life, don't they? Yeah. And I like the way their trunks curl on each other's tails. Oh, I love that. I love elephants. And they're forever for petting each other with their trunks and stuff. I love elephants. Curl it round. We should protect every elephant on Oh, God's we certainly Earth. should. Look at these. They're so precious elephants, aren't they? And you get three of them. Now you're also getting for the same, this is all one price, three wonderful dolphins. And they're double dolphins. They're mummy and baby. Oh, Mama and Papa. <laughs> I like, love oh that. God. <laughs> Mike's like women. We like dolphins, Mike. Do you like a dolphin? Yeah, they're cute dolphins, aren't they? They are cute. And we should only ever eat tuna that's dolphin friendly as well, everybody. Absolutely. Now, have a look at these. We couldn't have honey without honeybees. And that's what I'm going to bring you. I do look, I want to, I want to keep bees, you know that. Do you? Yeah, I'd love that. After the pig, you want to have bees? I had a pig, yeah. I know you did. <laughs> no, I could do, I, I do have a lot of honey. I've, I love bees. Do you know why I love bees? They never stop working. No. And ants. Never squash an ant, because ants don't go to sleep. Apart from the queen, she's a right lazy cow. Have a look. She doesn't mean the queen queen? No, I mean the queen, <laughs> but I mean the one the ant. Well, she's not lazy, she's mating all the time, isn't she? That's enough to exhaust anyone. Have a look. Have a look. You get bees. You get five bees. And then look, ready? 
You get ladybugs. Ladybirds. Do you know what? These are so easy. Uh, have you got a charm bracelet at home? Clip them on. You just put a, a jump ring through the ones that haven't got. Um, so the the um, elephants already come with the clips on them. I love the ladybirds. And these are all marked with the 925 silver. Now there's a big grand weight of silver. So let me refresh you uh, with what you're getting. You're getting the elephantitis. What's elephant in French? Elephant. Elephant. Makes sense. Now you're getting four of the ladybirds. What's ladybird in French? You're not authentic French if you don't know that. Doesn't know the animals. Didn't your mum teach you the animals? I'm going to ring your mum. She'll be tutting at the telly right now, Danny. Lapin. Lapin is the rabbit. rabbit yeah. yeah. We haven't got rabbits here though, Mikey. <laughs> that was completely random. That's an animal. Le chan is dog. Yeah. Dauphin. I love dolphins. I love these. Do you love this? Because if you do, you need to be on the phone lines. They're brand new. They will fit on charm bracelets. They will fit in. Look at my earrings. I've got bug <laughs> earrings. Yay. <laughs> We've never seen any of these chances before. I'm going to give you all of them for a ridiculously low price. Like they should be 28.80, which is amazing. If you go into the charm shops, yeah, yeah. Links of London, Thomas Arvo, Pandora, they are at that each per charm. Uh, I'm giving you how many charms in, in total? 21.95 for 16 charms in total. You wow. need this. You need them, and loads of you are grabbing these. We are going to have a quick uh, designer inspiration with Alison. We are going to go back to the shoe too. Do not worry. One pound thirty-seven per charm. Loads and loads of grand weight of silver. Alison Terry, tell me everything you loved about working with these. Oh, I, I thought they were so gorgeous, and I also had some earring findings. Um, I just went to town with them. I just loved them. And you could have little ones. I mean, you could you could just slap them all on one charm bracelet and have a wow charm bracelet. Let's but have I, a look at actually. You've done a bracelet, haven't you? I've done two little. Well, I've done a bracelet and a little um, one that goes around your finger as well. A slave bracelet. With the, yeah, with the with the chain. We're going to give you the chain in a minute. Let's have a look at that. Mike has just gone over to Alison. Here we go. I mean, how sweet is that? Little 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 dolphin on a. How sweet is that? It's gorgeous. I and love it's it. All oh, nine point fives. 925 silver sterling silver and what i did is i used the clasp from the elephants oh. uh, on the bracelet yeah perfect because so i've got, got the, the little tag on 925 the on there as well yeah we are going to see how to make these they're really simple they're really quick it's great for beginners yeah and i'm going to give you the chain in a minute as well and we are going back to the shoes so don't worry about that either uh, ladybird sounds a little bit rude in french so i won't be saying it <laughs> i'll bring the text on then it's not me if I'm reading it. Uh, Pascal says, c'est une coquinelle. Coquinelle. That's Ladybird from Pascal. Thank you, da Danny said it in a, uh, well, in a, in a brummy accent. <laughs> He's supposed to be French, Pascal. But, uh, Eleanor in L'Exemple. L'Exemple is a district with Barcelona, Gaudi everywhere. Loving the show today as always. You guys always brighten my day. How can we, uh, L'Exemple will should brighten your day. You need to go. I've got to go. Eleanor, can she, can she keep <laughs> on surfer? It is amazing. You'd love it, Alison. Yeah. You'd go mad for it. Really? Yeah, you would. Wow. Because it's so cultural yeah. and beautiful. And you can go there for like a couple of days and come back, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, bit of a city bike. I look after dogs. <laughs> Twenty-one ninety-five. OEG C nineteen. Is your, I mean, what? What's the worst that can happen? Me and Alison Tara's dogs. <laughs> It'll bring a whole new meaning to the word terrifying. <laughs> uh, now we are going to give you the gemstone strands that Alison also had, which you need. You actually need these. Can I just say these have been hand uh, wire wrapped for you in? sterling silver wire oh, no. so whatever you make out of them is going to be look just a bracelet like that is so pretty Alison yeah. I just love these strands and they're definitely on my wish list I had some of these with pearls when we first and they were twenty four ninety five. do you remember the little in, ones tiny. they used to come in nine inches on yeah they were tiny something, didn't they but they nine were amazing 
I love these. I and love you can them. stack them. Like you say, you could you could use those two and make one multiple bracelet and it would look amazing. I love it. Tranquility in the amethyst and happiness in the citrine. Mm -hmm. Lovely combination yeah. that, isn't it? So you've got, how much of it each have I got? Let's have a look. I reckon, is it 50 centimetres at half? And, uh, so you've got a metre of chain here. Mm -hmm. Mark 925 silver and you get the tag and everything. They're just gorgeous. I would, I would certainly get these whether you're a really experienced jewelry maker or whether you've just started, because I think everyone can add these kinds of elements into their collections. Uh, also, please note that it is very time consuming to rose the relink like that in sterling silver as well, mm. and the links are perfect. Beautiful. I'm also going to give you sterling silver shepherd's hooks. You are going to get 20, uh, is it 20 pairs or 20? It's 10 pairs, 20 individual pieces. You're going to get 10 pairs of sterling silver shepherd's hooks as well. So you're ready to go make a pair of earrings straight away, ready to go to make yeah. a, a necklace and a bracelet straight away. Uh, if you have got loads of big projects in mind and you need you need those sort of bumper strands, those ones that are gonna make instant gorgeous pieces, then these are most certainly your strands that you're gonna do it with. They're really easy to w work with, aren't they? Oh Alison? yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Bit of a saving grace for Alison after she'd done that wire work shoe to go, Phew, this puzzle is ah. going to be easy. I can easily make something out of this. And that's exactly how I think you're going to feel as well. Uh, you get 10 carats of citrine on the citrine strand and 10 carats on the amethyst strand. FZGC03 should be 3085, which when you think about the fact that you've got a meter of sterling silver chain with gemstones on them, genuine gemstones, semi-precious gemstones on them, and you've got 10 pairs of earrings in your shepherd's hooks as well, £30.85 pence is already phenomenal value, but we're going to bring that price tag down for you. Don't forget to add those luscious charms. Have the charms sold out? £30, £21, sorry, and £95. Pence. Only a few of the charms left if you want them. Come through uh, for them. FZG C03 is your item code. Uh, loads of you there for this already. Please uh, give us a text and let us know why you need them. Agnes, Kathleen, Diana, Rebecca, Jennifer and Gwent, uh, Jenny and Surrey, Angela and Dorset, and Michelle, Elise, Tina, VH, Zena in Cambridgeshire, Sandra, Michelle, Suze, Sharon, Margaret, Antoinette, gorgeous name. Uh, Lynn and Kent, you've got that. Do you know what? I think they're just so versatile. That's why there's so many names on the on the phone lines, aren't they, Alison? The chains are absolutely amazing to use. You, I mean, you can just use them and make some long dangly earrings. And how simple and quick would that be? And you'd get your money back straight away. Yeah. It's all 925 silver. Or you can split them up. You can make some delicate little necklaces. You know, they are so versatile. You can incorporate them into other other pieces of jewellery. You could loop them in your shoes so you've got little chains going round. Absolutely, completely versatile. I love these earrings. Do you know, they are quirky, they're fun, but they're, this is the sort of thing I would wear. Yeah. You know how much I love my insects and my animals. I love it. I'm obsessed. I love them. 20, do you know what? Um, actually, me and Mia think that money spiders, if they crawl across you, are, um, are really good luck. So last week we stood under a tree that had had loads of money spiders and we were crawling in them. Oh. And I stopped Mia going through into the ring because I had a money spider and I put it on her and she went round and won. You know, we love <laughs> things like that. 21.95. We're not squashers of bugs in our house. We're oh. savers. We scoop them out and save them. Don't I have a husband for Alison. that. I have a husband for that. Twenty-one ninety-five. Yeah, there is an exception on wasps. No, because once you kill one wasp, it lets off a chemical and they all come after you. You don't want to do that. I might have made that up, but it might also be true. Twenty-one pounds ninety-five pence. Do not squash wasps. They would. They re They retaliate. Revenge is a wasp's middle name. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Down from £30.85 to £21.95. Let's saunter on over to Alison. We're going to take the shoes. We're going to take the charms. We're going to take everything. Let's take me shopping. Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. I'm going for it. I'm going to go back over for a bit more tarry time. A bit more tarry time. Now, uh, you're terrible. Elson. I'm terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> Did you ever watch Muriel's Wedding? <gasps> Loved Muriel's You're Wedding. You're terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> I love that film, do you? Yeah. Now, I love this. Do you know, this would make a nice anklet as well. It would make a nice anklet. It would make a nice anklet. 
I love this. I that love is the just dolphins. so delicate. I'm so stealing that. I yeah. love that. I mean, you could actually put all the charms and use this as a bit of a charm bracelet as the base, but I wanted to make multiple pieces, so. I love that. And then because we had an odd number, I've got one little, oh, yay! one ladybird and one, and one bee. It's making me have that song in my head, at the ugly bug the ball. ball. <laughs> Did you sing Burr that? Burr lives. I oh. love that. Do you, do you, what was it? It was the, um, was it when they, uh, was it the parent trap they sang that at or something else? No, it was, the, it was, what was the oh film? Oh gosh. At the ugly bug ball. I only know it from him doing it do when you? I was a kid. It's before your time. It's probably in a movie. No, it's in a movie. It's, it's in, it'll be in the Bug, Bug's Life or something, whatever that movie is no, called. No, it's in a, an old movie. Oh, was it? it? What was that girl called who did um, Parent Trap where she played twins? But they, no, not Lohan. That was a, she did that again. It was like a classic Hayley movie. Mills. Hayley Mills. Yes, well done, Amelia. It was a Hayley <laughs> Mills film. Oh, was it really? Yes. Um, yeah, it was in, I think it was, The Ugly Bug. The bar. Ugly Bug Bar. Anyway, that's... We're so random. Me and Alison just talk complete nonsense when we're together, don't we? It's Let's not never nonsense. get drunk together. No, no. Who that wouldn't knows be good. what nonsense that, that would happen then? <laughs> or let's. <laughs> or let or let's. everyone else worry about it. <laughs> John. Christmas party. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, look look at the elephant earrings i love them and i thought those colors were quite indian to go with them a bit bollywood aren't yeah. they yeah that's why I put, I put the two colors and elephants are in india aren't they yeah yeah indian they elephants are. they are mm. it's true they are now they walk around they so are, they, just walk around. <laughs> they just walk around like cows do yeah. cows just walk around wander down your street yeah not like my friend once she was going to work in cheshire and she was and going down a, a back road and she came round the corner and there's an elephant walking down the road but she didn't shut up no. why well apparently there was a circus but she didn't see the bloke at the front you know with the hook over <coughs> his ear leading him she just came round the corner and, an and, got held. and she used to work as a as a, a traffic warden so she was based in the police station like, can't park that elephant but, there no she was late <laughs> and she went and they were like why are you late she said well there was an elephant on the road <laughs> They were like, yeah, 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 go on. Yeah, yeah, that's something I'd say, and they go, whatever's going to come out of her mouth now, you're all right. I got stopped. So, well, you see, there was an elephant on the road. I love it. These were so great to work with I and love so this. easy and delicate. Like I say, so what I did was I looked at the charms, and these, these little elephant charms with the little clasp on. They're big, though, in uh, terms sorry, yeah. of sterling oh, silver, aren't they? Well, you can feel the weight of them. They're char yeah. Obviously, they're charms, so charms are supposed to be small, but they're amazing, aren't they? Lovely. I love, I love an elephant. Um, but how great would that be as just a little charm on your, on your uh, favourite handbag or on your phone or something? You could have this little sterling silver charm and they are so so delicate they're i just gorgeous. love them and they're so I nicely love, i was done. saying to you earlier they stayed together as a family for life that makes me love them but those charms are brand new you've never 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 seen them before a large chance you're never going to see them again look at everybody's on my phone lines <laughs> lots of multi buyers as well i'm not surprised for that um because for the chains that's a good price for the chains but then you throw in 10 pairs of sil sterling silver, silver earrings. earrings yeah Brilliant Which, value for both. Absolutely amazing. And I still got I'm Charles show you what at the I bottom of your left. screen and the um and the mm. chains are on the on the actual screen. I think I've got four and or five pairs hooks. left. One, two, three, four. Five pairs of earrings. Five so I've still got five pair of earrings left. I'm half inch in this. <laughs> I love that. But it that is so cute. So I I looked at it and I I, I did I will say I did use some jump rings. From my stash. Oh, fair enough. But so you I could had make some a jump silver ring jump well, rings from you? my stash. Um, but the the little clasps actually come with the jump ring. So on that, I've used a jump ring and the clasp. Um, and that one did I? Yeah, on that one I used a jump ring. And then the other one I used somewhere else. So nothing got wasted. It's all, and I've still got a clasp left. I think. We're not allowed to break any of this down, okay? Yeah, that, that's left. the law. All right. This is the law. But they're just so sweet, I and they were them. so easy. I mean. I haven't actually used the a jump ring like on those. you buy out of a yeah. smith. Literally, all I've done with the earrings, and this is why it's fantastic for a beginner. And if you and did they want, look instantly brilliant. They, they are brilliant. And if you wanted to start off at a craft shows or something like that, or you go into your, your child's fate and, you know, you, you've got a table and you mm. oh, what do I do? Some of these, and literally, shepherd's hook, open the stable door, 
pop your earring on. The only thing you've got to make sure is they're both going the same way. How easy is this? And then shut your door. And, and that's it, done. That's easy. It. That's your pair of earrings done. Now what I did do with these, and I'll show you on this, see the earring comes so that it's all um, the same plane. Because yeah. I wanted my dolphin to hang that way, but I didn't yeah. want to use a jump ring. Yeah. So I literally put that in a pair of pliers. And you moved it around. Twisted oh, it. Oh, good tip. And so there you've got it, way. so that okay. now, it, now it hangs in the way so you want it facing, to facing the front of your face most of the things you've got on the there unless they're sort of around or something you will want to do that way yeah but if you've got a jump ring that's why that's why they're that way because not oh, okay. a lot of things you'd have, have a jump, jump ring, ring which out. would turn it the mm. other way around yeah but you don't need it with these don't it's, waste a jump ring if no. you don't need it so, i love that it's so easy. so easy and perfect like that two little jump rings and then I nearly, I nearly just took one of the chains, put the other dolphin on a little necklace, and that was it. That would have been it. Complete set, two earrings and a necklace, £15, £20, yeah. pure all sterling silver, the whole lot. And that's how a slave bracelet goes on yeah. like that. It might now be you're a little the bit Shepherd small, I wasn't free. sure about the size. These chains should, uh, are eleven ninety five each. Mm. So that would be uh, 24 pounds, mm. 23 pounds, 23.95. You're getting it for 21.95. Really good value. With the shepherd's hooks as well. Absolutely. So, so for, lovely. for some of the bugs, I literally just made little, because not everybody wants danglies. No. Like, like my friend here. I sometimes go for a bit of a more a smaller look. one. I mean, I know you also have studs. You could just yeah, put these like on, studs, a, on a stud yeah. and have it just really mm. close. And those little tiny ones are so, they're brilliant. They're great, aren't they? And they're they? great for children. They are. But you still I, got I the sterling silver. I think we all know somebody who absolutely loves and adores mm. uh, like bugs and kids. If you've got oh, little girls them. who like uh, wearing earrings, great. Uh, now, my little girl is too frightened to have her ears pierced ever. So oh, she's she? never had them pierced. Um, she'll wimp with things like that. Have a look, she's 12, yeah. Now all of her friends have got their ear pierced. She's like, no way. I'm not. No one's sticking needles in my ears. Uh, look, they they just look so great. So then I started cutting up the chain. So I have got a couple of extra little bits which I haven't thrown away, which you can use. That one's got the 925 attached. So this is all I had left as well. So I cut some of these off. So what I did was I'd I'd literally, and I don't want to cut a new strand off because it's I hate waste. Waste. Let's move pliers. I use these because because they're fine, and I would literally they go right close yeah. to it, don't they? I didn't want to. You don't want to snip it off completely because then the lip, unless you want to use that as something else. So I just snipped one side, and I've actually on the earrings you're wearing, used this as as an as opener. Open the door, put the charm on, shut the door, and they're fine. They're and they'll stay anywhere. nicely. They yeah. are solid there. Love it. I used a jump ring at the top, but just to hang those chains off. Now, I've actually done that badly, so it's opened. But if you do it properly, let me do another one, because that was rubbish. But you can actually, you've got enough chain to play about. You yeah. could, yeah, you, you could. You could cut one off. If, but if you snip it like that, and you can, if you're careful, open these and close them again. I wouldn't use it for hanging anything heavy on or using it as a major joint because it won't be strong enough. But for popping a little charm like that on, perfect. This it's not is gonna just go anywhere. so easy. If you've just yeah. started jewelry making, or I mean, if you've been jewelry making a while, it's quite nice to just take a step back from doing really, I mean, if you're gonna do the shoe and you still wanna run other things, do some easy bits yeah. to make your life easier. Now, after the break, we are gonna continue with the shoe design. Uh, so if you are ready for the next part of uh, the project, then uh, it's coming up for you after this quick break.
Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Louise Jacobson for our basic wirework course. This class is suitable for complete beginners who wish to learn simple wire wrapping techniques to create stunning structural designs. Louise will teach you all the essential skills to get started, including basic spirals, double connectors and much, much more. The full course includes a range of different wire gauges, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Welcome back, you're watching Jewellery Maker. Uh, now we are going to continue on with what uh, a lot of you, and indeed I think myself included, are calling the designer inspiration of the year so far. I think you're definitely up there. I think you're definitely up there. Now, <laughs> I am just getting some different um, strands and things. Now we, we are now at which part of the project? Right. Person? So. We've done the back. Now, one thing I would like to recap on, if we can do that next, with the, the thi the, the, this thing. The douche Marie. The douche Marie. What I forgot to tell you, when I've done all these, I the want links. the when links. You, when, uh, when, I've when I've made them all, before I put them like this. So, so before you bind these, them. Each of the links I've made, I've squashed. You, why, just to work what? hard on it, just to give it that little bit more rigidity. Can you show me how you did it? Now, I did this before and I made such a noise. Because because I've got links and some of these And why the wire whacker? Why not your hammer? That's what I was just going to say. Because these are quite big, mm. if you're hammering, you've got to go along in several bits. Whereas with this, you can do it in one. Done. And if you've got 22 for each shoe, shoe you can put a whole load of them on there and do them all in one oh, fell easy. shoe. So, and now we're work hardening. We're not actually going to... We don't want to flatten them. We just want to give them that little bit of extra help to hold their shape okay so you can either whack them mm. or squash squash what did you do i squashed a lot purely because i've got a collie on board the boat that's okay. had thunderstorms and bangs and tunnels to deal with and, and whacking would not have, have helped him so i actually used because we don't want to flatten the wire i just wanted to give it a good a good yeah, toughening up. push it through a few times just to help that just hold to give it, it a bit, that yeah. little bit of rigid, yeah. rigid how do you say it rigidity. Rigidity. rigidity so each piece and it helps sort of flatten the piece now you can actually hammer on top of that as yeah, well and it's only 5.95 for the wire whacker today hlb d42 the wire whacker is great for a number of different I things isn't it i love it i absolutely oh, love, it. love I this do you, could you live without your wire whacker no. i i mean I, well it, it went on the boat with me i take it with me what I found when I started hammering was I'd mark the wire. Okay, oh, and you don't want to do that on a swirl. No. Sometimes you want to mark wire. Some of you, this, sometimes you want you it, and you can do it with practice without marking it. Mm -hmm. But it takes a lot of practice. Now, because I didn't hammer a lot, I'd find when I was hammering, I'd, I'd mark it with the edge. And you can do you can do your heavier your heavier wires with this. You could do your twisted wires with this. You can do delicate wires with this. Mm. So if you had your point four and you needed to hammer it, but you didn't. You, it can be delicate. It can but break it's delicate. If you get the hammer yeah. to it. So whereas with this, you can just press it Squash a bit, it. and you'll get the same effect. But you can and, and the fact that you can do a large surface area. So if you've done a like big sort of bib necklace and you just yeah. want to work hard and it, it'd be perfect yeah. for that as well. Absolutely perfect. You don't have to worry about where the wires cross over no. either, do you? Where you not, would if you were hammering. Yeah, not so much because you're not putting you can, like I say, you can you can really whack it quite forcibly, or you could put it on top and you could hammer on top as well. Again, that would protect it somewhat from the from the marking. Mm -hmm. Um I know I love these. Or you could use it as a base and whack it if you wanted but okay. as a whacker they're fabulous absolutely fabulous so a must have tool for you yeah. wire whackers out there uh, hlbd42 0800 so we are uh, giving you the silver wire as well uh, we've got 100 meters of 
uh, the one mil and we've got a hundred meters of the 0.4 mil for you to be able to create shoes like this we've of course gone and bought uh, the yes, shoes yes. separately we're using a size five here so if you are going a little bit bigger than a size five then you'll need to stretch the wire out a little bit uh, just to make your swirls a bit bigger in fact 32.95 for 200 meters of the silver wire and that's the wire you need to make this now you need a lot of wire to make it yeah. uh, so here it all is and if you are thinking about doing commissions Alison's saying about 180 pounds was it I would start at 150 if they were buying their own shoes and then depending on what the gemstones were, depending Go on what the then. pattern was, because if you start doing some weaving and, and intricate wrapping, you're, you're upping your time and it takes a lot of time. So and 150 minimum, minimum pounds is what you would yeah, charge for pair absolutely. of shoes like this. Could be a really good money making deal for you. I don't think there's a girl that's walked past these that hasn't squealed. <laughs> no. We all need some tarotastic shoes now it doesn't have to be uh high heels could be flats as could well could be flats it could could very it, it doesn't matter the shoe you can tailor it to the shoe yeah you really can um the the one you're going to use i reckon if you you're using more of the point four mm. almost than you are of the one okay now you I don't, I've used a lot on other, on, on here's one I prepared earlier. So I just thought you, it was the other way around, you'd use more of the one than you do the point four. No, because there's an awful lot of little wire wrapping in there. Yeah. There's an awful so lot, lot of, of little, that not .4. so you do use, a, that's, that's what I've got left of the hundred, but I have made my Pretty ones types, I prepared earlier. Yeah. So I reckon you could probably get two of those or one of those and one of these, which will take less wire, okay. you'd get probably two pairs of shoes out of it oh okay and good what we're talking 32.95 yeah so we're talking 15 pound for the wire yeah but your big thing is the time so so i think you're justified fully in the 150 pounds absolutely fully easily minimum it's nice to just do one project and, and get that one commission yeah. as well isn't it yeah absolutely so get absolutely to get going with it now uh, we're going to continue on with the designer inspiration right. and we are at the point where we are binding the wire together with wire wax yeah so we've wired. Remind me, is it 24 S's you needed? 22, 22 of these. 22, I will put it. the numbers on. Thank what, you. And the other thing I forgot on there is at the front of the shoe and at the sides, I used two little, I think they look like noses. They're little they, scrolls. They almost look like little nostrils. <laughs> little noses on the front. Sorry. Little snacks. Little, little sort of sea scrolls, well, shall I'd we say, say they rather than they're, they're little hearts, but little oh, ones. Yeah. Or, yeah. So by there <laughs> and by, bottom, and by the side, say. I just put some by the side as well. And I've used them where there's been... Hang on, where have you put them on the side? Just there. Oh, yeah. So if in doubt, use a snout. Yeah. That's so, what we're saying. Yeah, if, if you can see on there, there's three um, ends of scrolls together. And I thought that was a bit vulnerable for being oh, caught. So there. One, two, three. Yeah. So, so I put that it. in to give it extra protection to stop it if it looks like there's a bit that could snag put something else in so that you can tie it together better basically is what i've done I have a couple of snakes handy and yeah you're all good all right so it depends on your design so that's why that's a bit bit heavier scroll like that, for want though. of better yeah so you've sort of just made it up as you've gone along really pretty like, much yeah you looked and seen a gap and thought right i'll make something yeah new. i was a bit nervous about that gap i thought oh that middle no, one's a bit good, vulnerable yeah so so we want to then do our gemstones because before we attach the heel because once it's attached it would be a nightmare to try and wire wrap the gems in an absolute so you nightmare. wire wrap now before so you, you wire wrap okay, now okay. so you've made it so you made all this so i had all these bits and anyone who watched on facebook and there was a one person who guessed um when i i put i put this bit on I put that bit on with, with the wire on, with the gemstones, and I put it on that way round. And one person um, said Cinderella slipper, and one person guessed shoe. So two people actually guessed what I was making, sort of. But I think they thought this was part of the shoe rather than the heel bit. Yeah, yeah. But so uh, I love stopped it. then just in case everybody guessed what I was making. I love you, <laughs> you little teaser. <laughs> She's a mole teaser. <laughs> Right, so all I've done with the wire wrapping is with my point 0.4 and I got, it doesn't matter because you can add in, you, you don't have to do it with one piece. And like we said, every single one of those gems went on the point 0.4, mm. all the emeralds went on, the aventurine, and they were so lush. 
um, the um, white and uh, white quartz and black quartz. Uh, yeah. White crystal and black quartz. The white crystal, the white quartz and the, yeah. the black agate. Agate. Right. Yeah. Beautiful little stones, and because most of them are faceted, you get such a sparkle. Such. I mean, those smoky quartz. I adored them. I used every single one of those. Uh, do you know what we're going to bring the I gemstones to your um, screen right now Nate. I'm going to give you a different colorway as well but do, do you know what just have emeralds on your shoes sounds oh, like it like you're going to feel like Kim Kardashian wearing yeah. those yeah I mean it's absolutely. crazy absolutely oh those were amazing. amazing I couldn't believe it when I got it and I'm like I've got emeralds Jenny's on gonna shoes. Love these. <laughs> I know. I love emeralds so much. One of my favourites, actually. Look at that. Those aventurine were absolutely. Mm. I nearly kept them and just put those on the tiara, and I thought, oh no, I can't. Carol's favourite emeralds as well. Oh really? That's what she's got—the most amazing emerald engagement oh, ring you've ever seen oh. in your life. Yeah, amazing. Uh, then look, you've got those gorgeous oh, black sweet. agates. I almost said spinel because they're very, very sparkly. Yeah. If you got those spinels last night, you're going to love putting oh. those onto shoes. Mm. I love this so much. I'm super excited. Uh, so for That's all of these gemstones, we're giving you the price tag of just £19.95. and pence. These are great because they're very versatile. You've got emerald in there. You'd pay that for the emerald. I was going to say, I can't Thank believe you. it's less than £20. And you've got a strand of emerald. I in. mean, it's cra we actually get complacent. I think if you were to go somewhere else and ask mm. them for emerald for under twenty pounds for a tiny bit, they, you'd get scoffed at. Mm. You've got a whole strand. Today's emerald prices have been crazy. And um, how do you facet that small? You have to have an eye wow. for it. What a, what a necklace that'd be! Gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? And I love the black in there with that as well because mm. it sort of just adds that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you what, need that. You know that touch. The depth. Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. This really is a wonderful bundle. Let's touch uh, on where Alison's actually used these as well. Nineteen ninety-five. Now, maybe you're going to make an autumnal pair of shoes or ruby slippers, or you want to do some um, Christmassy. What? Look at these reds. Look at these Christmas. I want Christmas shoes. Oops. Christmas shoes. Think about your different colourways. I'm greedy on. now. Yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> I've got it too excited, haven't I? Look, look, you've got the Mookite as well. <gasps> oh, they're gorgeous. And a pair of winter boots. <gasps> oh, hang on a minute. The, oh, yeah, absolutely, down the sides Could of your boots. Could you go all the way up to a knee-high boot in wire work? I mean, that would be crazy. Yeah, don't push your luck. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in your cage, Alison, and don't, make me... Don't I think push you're your stilt skin, <laughs> don't I? I need a little spinner. You could, or you could, if you use the... Um, uh, monofilament mm. you could just put a pattern down the side on the outside of your boot and then stitch it on amazing love it don't talk to me about boots this week anyway my blinking so, daughter so Mia's riding boots you know could have some nice little gemstones running talk down to the me side. about Mia's riding boots and she's a new pair Do you know how she? expensive they are oh yeah 700 pounds Alison <laughs> For competition boots, I think it's ridiculous. Uh, and uh, she's not going to be in them for very long. No, them Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to do. No. That so we're is... four gorgeous strands. You have got red quartz, white quartz rounds. Well, they, those are clear quartz, actually, aren't they? Mookite and Amazonite, they're all three mil, and I love them. They're so luminous. They're great in beaded kumihimo yeah. as well. Yeah. There's so many reasons why you need these. They're only 9 95 Well, I, you see, I'd, I'd want to get a couple of them because I'd use different ones, different places. Yeah. I, th you know? I think that's a good idea. This red is a must-have. That's gorgeous. I'm a big CDB fan anyway. You know I love them. Mm -hmm. I absolutely, you used them in the rattle, you used them yeah. in the booty. CDBs are great. Uh, Bidiku Mahimo, if you're doing Pru Mahimo, if you're doing um, micro macrame, if you're a massive fan of the bead loom like I am, if you're bead weaving, if you're making CDBs, intricate bead work, literally, I mean, the, the possibilities are, are, are wonderful actually I was gonna say limited they're just wonderful if you're into um, peyote the brick stitch this yeah. is perfect for that TDG C85 you need them but even if you just use say those clear ones as little spaces with those um, garnets earlier <gasps> with the drops oh or you know oh, or yeah. pop them in them in in with you know just just using them for something mm. as simple as that I 
can't believe the prices you've done today. Do you know how hard it is to get small gemstones and genuine gemstones? Because yeah, they're yeah. very difficult to pass. If you go into a normal bead shop, you're going to be very hard pressed. Yeah. But I, I, think, I think, and if you did get them, it would be a, a really high price tag because they're hard to get. And they're hard to, for somebody who's an independent bead, beader mm. with an independent shop who doesn't have a huge buying power, mm. it's very difficult for them to give you prices like this. And in fact, if you've got a beadery, get buying these the in bulk. A beadery. Oh, I, I, I would be multi buying those because. Mm. Because they're so versatile, and I do use little beads a lot for highlighting stuff. Yeah. As a wire worker, I use them loads, but but they are so versatile for other things. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely versatile. They totally are. Nine pounds ninety-five pence. T D G C eighty-five is your item code. Uh, I like Danny's uh, plant seed. He said this. <laughs> very good. Very good. Didn't Daddy, you need that. to stop planting it. <laughs> and, and we'll move on from well, that. I knew said something I shouldn't. There we go. We'll if, Danny, if you see Danny in your neighbourhood, lock up every girl under the age of 30, <laughs> uh, between the age of 30 and 20. They're not safe. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, moving on. He's a one. <laughs> Is he? He's got oh, like six eh? girlfriends. <gasps> oh. In all in different areas of UK. Mm. Have I gone and ruined it? That's why he went to Paris the other day. Uh. <laughs> Did he go to meet see men in tights? Did he go to see men in tights? In the middle of Paris. In the middle of On the, the Paris. Sunday. His brother was in tights. He said that was enough for him. And was he? Is that <laughs> what they were doing? Men in tights? It was Tour de France, wasn't it? Finished oh, no, yes, it was. I actually saw some, one of my friends went and saw that, actually. <gasps> that, I'd love to go to Paris. Yeah. Have you not been to Paris either? Not to see the tour oh. finish. I'd love to see it. You need to get out there. You need to get, spread your designer wings. Imagine what would happen if Alice and Tarry came back from Paris. <laughs> Why work Eiffel Tower? We'd have the Moulin Rouge girls and all wire work. In Ooh, fact, that's a show. Yeah, isn't it? Bagsy be uh, Christina Aguilera in that video. Mama Lord! With the hair. Did you see her in that video? She looked good. I don't remember her in Moulin Rouge. No, but she was in the song. Oh, I was going to say, I don't remember seeing her. No, it was, uh, what's her face? Very it? sad. Yeah, um, yeah, blonde. Ewan McGregor was good, wasn't he? He was very good. I didn't realise he could sing. I like a bit Ewan. Yeah. yeah. Now, right. Anyway. So, what I did with the swirls, I wanted to highlight, but I didn't do the whole lot on these, on the, the main toe. So I literally, I've wrapped it two or three times in through the hole. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to pick one of the beads. Now, on the main bit, they all have a, an emerald in the centre. And on the outside, they've all got the little adventurines in the centre. And that picks up the colour of the emerald yeah. even more, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look at that. So on the inside of the swirlo, which is here, we start with an emerald. Yeah. And then on the... And then the adventurine. On the middle of the smoky quartz ones, the outside scrolls, they've all yeah. started with an adventurine. With adventurine. You can see that there. So pretty. And then on the, to the toto. Yeah. The two -two. Little snouders. <laughs> You're going to be looking at those and just seeing the nose. You're going to need now, a aren't dictionary, you? aren't you? <laughs> snouters. Oh, yes. Right. A so wire work uh, roll of which Alan <laughs> Carey performs. So I've wrapped it around a few times. I've put my bead through. And I haven't wrapped it round. I've, I've pushed it in. And I'll never do it in this direction. And you can, come, you can put it in and come back up. So the first time's a little bit fiddly because mm -hmm. I need that to go back up there to sit on the hole. And then literally I can wrap it round like that. So you're not having to feed it through. Does that make sense? Yeah. Wrap it round a couple, couple of times and then we're just into every other, and I did it completely random. Oh my goodness. Popped a bead on, wrapped the wire round twice to lock it in place and then like I say every other emerald aventurine emerald aventurine all the way around and I think the the variation in color you've got with the emerald strand which is beautiful and then the consistency of the green aventurine looks really beautiful oh my goodness don't worry carry on pretend <laughs> it hasn't happened okay and I did that you can do that for as for one scroll, you could do it for, you know, as many as you liked. 
I, I mean, I have So just used, feed as you like. Now, what yeah. did you do? Did you keep putting them back together in, until you'd got that sort of section of the toe well, like, and this then around the edge think, right, I'm going to leave them and just yeah. do some embellishments here What and I there. did was I did the toe bits yeah. there and there, there and there, and the nose. And you beaded before you stitched together? Yeah, I got to this stage, then I beaded. If, if, no, yeah, I got to this stage, so it's all... And then you beaded on top. And I beaded right, on top. Okay, okay. If you did it, I suppose you could do it as a section, but then Be a bit fiddly, when you bend it? it and tweak it into shape, then you get left, oh, well, I needed to put another gemstone yeah, there. So, okay. so you need to get to the state of where your shoe is in the form mm -hmm. and then bead on it. And then I thought, well, it looks a bit odd. And the, the um, smoky quartz I just used as highlights around the edge and they just pick up that light and add extra sparkle. And I, I, I just like the way it highlighted it. So that's what I did. And I just wanted, rather than dot them all over the place, because it would, you haven't got enough in your strand to do two whole shoes, mm. let's be fair. Okay. That's a lot, a lot of beads. And it would take you weeks. We are talking a lot more than £150 to do yeah. that. We're yeah. talking a lot more. If you beaded the whole shoe. If goodness. you beaded the whole shoe, yeah. You're looking at a month's work. Um, so. I concentrated on there and I just wanted the highlight detail on the heels. So when I, do you I, know when enough is enough? Well, it's, it's personal taste. It all comes down to personal taste. I quite like having a block of colour. Because you've just done it perfectly. I just wonder how in your mind you go and stop. Because um, my mind doesn't have that function. I'll get to a certain point and if I start saying, is that enough or not, I'll put it away. <laughs> and then you'll come back to I'll it the, next back to the next day. Good idea. Good idea. And idea. then I'll go. Because you can get blinded, can't you, by yeah. looking at it too many times. And you can also quite easily do too much, and then you go, oh no. Why? Uh, it's yeah. horrible. I don't like. I mean, originally I just did emerald in there, aventurine in there, emerald in there, and aventurine in there. And mm -hmm. I, I came back to it the next day, and it's not right, and I undid it. Didn't like it. Mixing them together, it looked great. So it's purely personal taste. You've really got to decide what you want, but I wouldn't be, you could, you know, use a sketch pad and sketch it all out beforehand, mm -hmm. but don't stick to it rigidly. Don't worry if it changes as you're doing it, because once you've got it in the 3D format on a shoe, it can look quite different. Yeah, you're right. So you've got to be versatile it's with it. It's about getting the colours that you want. It's about yeah. getting the... Uh, and toy around with your imagination. Don't yeah. you not... St I would go and I would... Follow your instruction first and then elaborate after yeah. that. Oh yeah, follow follow what I'm doing, but you don't have to use as many scrolls, you could use less, you could lose you could use you could do More it really tiny small ones. oh yeah, it would take you a long time. You might lose the will to live. But you could, you could do a whole load of small scrolls on mm. this and it would look phenomenal. You could start wire wrapping between them. So these these triangular bits here you could fill in with a bit of wire wrapping, so you could fill that in. You know, you could you could fill in this bit, you could fill in bits like that, and you could add to that and embellish it to your heart's content. You really got to decide what you want out of the shoe. Mm. You can make them as elegant and classy as you want, or you can go so far over the top, it's untrue. Really does depend on what your taste is. Or, or what who your you're making them for. I'm just thinking, uh, my daughter's going to a party on Saturday. She's going to be gutted that she won't be able to squeeze her feet into these. She will. Uh, and I just think, actually, if you were to make your daughter a pair, I mean, I've got a teenager. Yeah. Um, you know, they like all those sort of zany Aztec patterns at the moment. Everything's bright, crazy yeah. colours. And you could make the most amazing pair. You could go over wedgies with these as well. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of wedges out there yeah, at the moment. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you can do any shape. And with wedgies, if they've got the cork heel, you can poke it into the heel to fix it. Yes. So really play around with it. If you Bet you wish I'd given <laughs> you some wedges, don't you? <laughs> If you're going to, I'm going to leave that one alone as well. If you're going to do do it for a client, <laughs> if you're going to do it for a client, make sure that if, if you're going to fix it to the shoe, that they're happy for that. Because like I say, I could take these off, I could take the stitching out and smooth over it and you wouldn't see the holes. Yeah, you want to know is it, it a forever fine. fixture? Yeah. Before you start sticking needles through it yeah. or gluing it or whatever, double check. Yeah, Just have a little <laughs> doodle check, check. Right. So we've done, we've done the main body of the shoe. I just love that. Just, you could almost have that as a wine, wine uh, <gasps> get some, get some uh, 1.5 wire to make yeah, it a, bit a of base Pinot Grigio. and a heel, and you've got a wine thing. 
wine stand. Yeah, sorry. Bit of Chateau Neuf de Pape. my mind scares. So what we did with the Do you like white wine or, or red, just in I'm case I want to buy you really like. a big winey what person. What do you like? I'm not a big alcoholic person, really. Sorry. Not even scrumpy? Well, I do drink it occasionally. I just If you went to the pub and you were like, come on, we're going to have Soda water. Gin and soda water? No. What if we were going out for a drink, what would you have? You just don't drink at all? Very rarely. I haven't drunk for years. Did you drink on your drink. wedding? I did. I had a Bucks Fizz and I actually enjoyed it. It didn't touch the sides. I was so Bucks ready for a drink is, at the end of it. <laughs> you so could have a Bucks Fizz. That's not really you alcoholic, could. is it? No. <laughs> I suppose vodka's the only thing I'd, I'd probably drink, but I haven't drunk that for a long time. And and Leah she? makes a cracking cocktail. Uh, what cocktail is it? Oh, everything. She used to be um, a cocktail waitress. Daiquiri? Oh, really? Can you make daiquiris? Can you? Can you? <gasps> it's my tequila favorite. sunrise. No, tequila oh. sunrise. Oh. That's how she won you over by getting you horribly <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Making her cocktails, obviously. They're very tasty. Oh, she's like the Tom Cruise of jewelry maker. <laughs> <laughs> or what's what's the what's the um. What's the girls when they stand on the bar and dance? What's that one called? Coyote Ugly. Coyote. Is that you? Are you Leanne Rhymes on Coyote Ugly? <laughs> yes, yeah, she was. <laughs> right, so with the shoe, I did the inside of the top with the um, white, clear quartz, white yeah. quartz, mm -hmm. and the bottom with the black agate. Okay. And that, so that it also almost had the shadow effect. Yeah. And then I just put a few in the little holes to, to highlight. Okay, dokes. And then I fast that together. Right, so what we need to do is how we stick it all together. Yeah, how do we? <laughs> right, when you first, uh, I'm going to struggle with this one. Most shoes curl I've in at the bottom. That, yeah. So they curl in. So I thought, how am I going to make this stick? Because, and I know it doesn't fit. Oh, there go the pearls. This is an odd shaped shoe, actually. That's why it's still at work, because oh, it's, it's uncomfortable. A, uh, well, I think it's a fairly standard shoe. It's is just it? okay. a pointier shoe than, than yeah. yours so can i just shove those yeah on your hand and I'll all over the you. table there you go <laughs> don't worry don't worry it's sorry all... amelia no nope, she's all right you can do anything pretty much from now on in <laughs> right so we've put our heel on oh my apologies what i did down there once i'd got all this so that it's shaped and fitted and we're just going to squash that underneath there for the time being because it'll now fit our shoe. I do think it looks stunning on the black. I really How like it on the black as well. stunning does that look? It does look good against a black shoe, it's yeah. true. How stunning and classy is that with some white clear quartz faceted in that second, where's mm. your second kit? Give us those, give us those little ones. With those just, just dotted in there, giving you. Giving you the highlights now. How absolutely amazing would that be if all the toe Perfect. section was with those? Absolutely amazing. What colour shoe is Amelia going to be wearing? I wonder. Ooh, don't a white know. shoe with antique bronze, maybe. Ooh. Right. So we've got our shoe, and I'm making this fit this one. So I, w I then wanted to know how can I keep it because it would come up. Yeah. You you've got it. Um, let it me just show everybody round. this fact bit. Oh, you sorry, I did. Yet, I did. You? Yes. Yeah. You sorry. showed that bit. We didn't get a shot of it. Here you go. Sorry. I'm just got was starting to get comfortable, and I thought, stop. Sorry. So right. Alison fastened in a three. One, it's two, a four. four. A four one way, four the other way yeah. weave. Okay. I can show you very quickly. No, don't worry. We've got that. We've, We've got, got that. it on, right, on your cool. video and stuff, okay, haven't we? Stuff. That's fine. That's fine. Sorry, I completely forgot that. And if you get stuff, I just wanted to show everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But you leave it till the last minute. Once you've got all this shaped in, you weave. You then the fasten shoe. those bas oh, fast okay. bits, and then weave that because you might need to adjust this. Mm -hmm. So, but you still leave it so you can take the shoe on and off. Okay. When you do it, right. So I've squashed this around. This would these would have finished at the shoe level. So you have these. Ignore that one if you like. I've taken that off. So if it's a bit below like that one, I literally just curled it in a bit more. To make it fit so that's when i say and these these scrolls are all adjustable i then because you can go around and you don't want to snip them at this point no 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 you just want to make them slightly smaller you're just tweaking because you as you're making your shoe you won't have deliberately put it so that it's like that one way no no you, you wouldn't, you have, wouldn't added have added one added that you'd one. have tweaked the mm. others to fit there 
So I then got a, a piece of wire because I was thinking, how can I make them fit? And I thought, well, am I going to try and very shove some wire through? And I thought, well, no, because that's going to you're going to feel that underneath it. So I got an extra piece of wire. Now let's just follow. If you follow on the shoe, we're going to show you what Alison's about to do. So she scrolled this end here, and she's gone all the way around the base of the shoe, attaching, attaching, yeah. attaching, attaching, as we go all the way around to the other side, and finishing with another scroll and an attachment there. Okay, and then at the back so you do that without it being tight mm. so you you attach all your bits along you're not going to wire wrap it at this point are you yeah yeah you'd wire wrap them at this as point as you go along you as you go along it. so oh, they'd okay. all be in the right shape and you'd wire wrap so as it's still loose okay yeah you wire wrap it along and you you are pulling this to shape and then when you get to the back i made the two little sections with my I love that. Four of those. It looks stunning like that, doesn't it? Well, not yeah. quite like that, but. So I made four of those um, and then did the four, 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 four mm -hmm. wrapping on them. And these are what I used to brace the shoe. Now so I'll show you that at the back, the, these braces here, yeah? Yeah. So as you see with this pattern, here, here is the brace. Now we are put, attaching on both sides and we've actually got two of those. Yeah. So at the top, it's you come just... away from it a bit. You'll be able to see. That's it. There you go. There you go. There and there, there. So let's have a look. So at if you Alison. turn it slightly sideways, you can see at the top you've got two natural bits that you can fasten to yeah. on each side. That was deliberate. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking so that I'd have something so that anchors that bit yeah. in place. And then at the bottom, where I've got the end of my piece of wire. Hang on, let me... Oh, yeah, you've done one right at the base, yeah. Yeah. So I'd wire-wrapped, 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 and then I attached those into there, and I made them the same size, but again, mm. I just tweaked it for the wider bit of the shoe, or I pulled it in narrower. And then this extra bit here, I curled into the extra coil, and because you then fastened it, it pulls the tension, and it holds this piece yeah. in that bit. If I can borrow... Whoops. I can just borrow that there. one. So it, it tensions this and holds it in the gap above your sole before it starts your shoot. Because yeah. that, that comes out, and I just don't know whether you can see that, it comes out slightly. Yeah. And it, it sits in there quite nicely because it's wire wrapped and pulled with tension. Right. So <laughs> I'm pulling a right old face there. This, this, this bit here is the bits that's run all the way around the front of the shoe. And I pulled it as tight as I could on both sides and then wire wrapped it in and that's how yeah, that I get it I do I yeah. do so that then means that this is not going to be able to so you've got a lovely off. frame now don't forget yeah. we have um, secured with monofilament how did I you sew that in without marking the shoe with a needle I just, just a fine fine needle um, well I, I've actually it had got to be a leather needle I've got a leather needle um, okay, so it depends on your shoe yeah through. it really does depend on your shoe I found it quite tough with my leather needle but it's all I had on the boat um, I would have probably tried a finer needle to go really? through okay. yeah, for this. But it, again, it depends on your shoe. If it's a, a patent leather, oh, yeah, you, you might struggle a bit more. Maybe glue it instead. Yeah, or come from inside, just fetch your monofilament over. Sorry, come from and the go inside. go to the lining of the go shoe. Go over and then fetch it back over. I did one of those somewhere, I think, on the other shoe. Let me just, oh, there you go. Uh, because I came over the top at one point. So you can't actually see. So I've come from the outside over the top of the shoe and then round the wire. It. So you can just about make out the monofilament, but very, very barely. You're not going to notice it. It's brilliant. So, so you could come from the inside, hook over and pull back in. Mm -hmm. It's not massively tensioned i haven't pulled it massively tight it's just to hold the wire in place if you don't have that it will just sort of slowly sag 
through weight of it. Yeah, you want to have yeah. it so it's structural yeah. and it's all there properly and it won't slip down because yeah. that'll affect the way it looks on. Uh, and you can't have that if you're going to sell it as well. No, can absolutely. You? If you're going to put all this effort and time into it, do it properly. Yeah. And with it being stitched, not glued, as you notice when you put the shoe on, because shoes shoes come like that, so they're quite narrow. Yeah. But when you put your foot in, they will start. They to do widen. that a bit. Yeah. So okay, you've got quite narrow backs of your heels but this bit goes around your ankly bit yeah. so it does widen a bit so you've got the flexibility and that will mold to your shoe to your foot but of course I didn't have your foot to stick in it to sort of get the wire and to it's shape. a lucky thing for you that you didn't <laughs> what's that oh it's Jenny Clear's foot <laughs> sticking off the side of the boat <laughs> get into <Yeah>. a lock <laughs> I'm not allowed to do locks. My oh, brother yeah. shouted at me last time because I let back on the boat at the wrong time. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. I, I do most of the locks because I find it difficult to stand for long periods of time. So dear, when we do the thing. staircases, yeah. I get off and do the locks because it's hard work. It's, it's the most relaxing hard work Bush. on a boat you'll ever do. Yeah. So it's hard work doing them and pushing the beams, but then you get to sit down for a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're sitting there like... Wait anyway, for the water yeah. to rise. So, so that pretty much... Is the shoe done? It's Alison as as Terry's that. wonderful, terrifying shoes, everybody. You all need to terrify your shoes into gorgeousness. Is it the design of the year so far? So many of you are saying that it is just wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Now, go into your drawers, get out everything. What are you going to terrify? £32.95 EVG C59. We're going to a very quick break and we're going to be back with some more gorgeous strands for you, some more gorgeous things for you, some amazing bargains for you. I've got a bundle coming up. Ooh. Four brand new strands. Look at those Ooh. colours. They're ace. And we've got Alison Tarrant. Oh, we haven't given you any time for your challenge. No, I've got to crack on, really. Uh, she's got to crack on with her challenge. We'll be back after this. The four most common details considered in the industry when securing a quality gemstone are described as the four C's. The first C we look for is colour. The colour of a gemstone refers to the hue, tone and more importantly, the even saturation of colour within the gemstone. This can make the difference between a poor stone and a highly exquisite gem, being highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Secondly, we look for clarity. Almost all gemstones can contain some type of inclusions formed during crystallisation. Some gemstones, for example emerald, are acceptable with inclusions, whilst others are graded on how clean they are. Then we look for carat. Gemstones are always measured in carat weight when cut and commonly in grams as rough. Additionally, there are 100 points in every carat, so every point counts. And last but definitely not least, we come to cut. The cut is the most misunderstood and underestimated of the four C's. The cut should never be confused with the shape of the gemstone. This is the three-dimensional form, whilst the cut is the direct manipulation of the gemstone's facets by the lapidrist. Many factors are involved here, including the vision, experience and expertise of the lapidrist. If accomplished perfectly, a truly exquisite gemstone can be crafted into a work of art. think Labradorite, when you think about it, is as beautiful as a diamond because it gives you, for me, more amazement than a diamond. You look at it and it does something really unexpected, like a lightning bolt. Labradorite is one of those gemstones from Jewelry Maker that is always going to be a top seller. The Labradorite that you get from Jewelry Maker has got extreme amounts of labradorescence the color saturation is just superb and that's really indicative of the quality that we can get for you here at jewelry maker um, it seems to reflect your moods as well whatever kind of mood you're in whatever you put it with it seems to bring out those gorgeous colors so it really is a true chameleon gemstone I said, oh, I'm a bit hungry. Everybody's like, I've got pasta in my bag. 
Alison Tyra's got a whole pasty in her bag. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we're challenging Alison with the pearls. Alison's got the pearls already. And we're going to come in with four brand new strands. Oh, yes, we are. Have a look at this. Tom Dorks has sent me a medley bar. Rocky Road. Thanks, Tom Dorks. We're, we're uh, grazers here. Now have a look at these colours, they're ace aren't they? Aren't these wonderful colours? Look at all of those, that mix there. And these are like a lilac, are they lilac-y? Would you call these lilac? You call them pink? pink. <laughs> Y'all would call them pink, you call them pink? I call them pink. Alright then, <laughs> I just wanted to say lilac. <laughs> uh, now these are just ace, they're fun, they're going to look funky, they're going to be great for looming. I think, you know what, great bracelet here, if you're going to be jewellery making with the kids over the summer holidays, and it is a good idea because it keeps them quite quiet actually, will you be having niece or nephew over the summer holidays Lady Terry? Will I what, sorry? Will you be uh, entertaining nieces or nephews over the uh, Oh no, because I'll be in work, I'll be in work. <gasps> They want to come over. My niece is getting ready to go to France. Where is she? Yeah. Well, On they a all jolly? Are. Are no, they? she's she's doing um she's doing languages at university, so she goes out to France. She's going to Lyon. Oh, très bien. Yeah. And then she goes to Bonn. Oh, Bonn. In, in, très bien. In Germany. In Bonn. Good luck, How? Jade. Oh, what's her name again? Jade, Jade, isn't it? And what's your nephew called? Zach. 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 Jade and Zach. Oh, <laughs> little baby tarries. Have a look. No. <laughs> Have a look at these. No baby tarries. Very tall. Very tall. Do you know what? That reminds me of yummy sweets. <laughs> Do you know what? That multicolour strand did for me. What yummy sweets? Yeah. I love sweets. Do you? Oh, I Do love them. Tutti fruities. Oh. Do you remember tutti fruities? Yeah. Still get them, Alison mm. Terry. Now, if I can't buy a wine, I can buy a tutti fruities, oh, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> now these are great together if you're doing beaded kumahimo, aren't they? These would be really nice. Oh yeah. Kids kumahimo. Then these ones are going to make you want to eat sweets. They're luscious. But you can pick out all of the individual colours. Do you, are you a bit partial to a sweetie? Because I am. I always pretend I'm buying them for the kids when really. <laughs> when really. Pretend. Those coconut mushrooms are my... Pick a mix is like... Coconut mushrooms. Oh. And those laces with the white stuff in the middle. Oh yeah, <gasps> rhubarb and custards. Mm, I love those. I love sweets. Pear drops. <gasps> Pear drops. Yes. <laughs> We're in there. the winter, you have those things, the little chews, granny herbals. Oh, in no. the winter, the horses like them as well. Oh, do they? Yeah. Anyway, have a look at what I got for you. Oh, it's making us think of tutti fruities and all sorts of things. Now, it does look like these might sell out. You're all over the phone lines. Eight mil rounds of the purple quartzite, purpley pink. Uh, the multicolored eight mil uh, and the smaller ones are four mil. Those gorgeous sky blues. What are you going to do with yours? All of this for just £11.80. Except that's not really the price tag. No, no, no. Loads of you after this one. Jennifer, uh, Jeanette, Barbara, Sharon, Kerry, Catherine, Michelle, uh, Valentina, 9.95. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five strands for 9.95. You get, oh yeah, I've doubled this one over. Ooh, two pounds and 50 pence per strand. Love it. I love that you're getting such an incredible value. Anna, you've got yours. John and Susan, you've got yours. Michelle, you've got yours. Joy Maker and Carmarthenshire. Catherine in Essex, you've got yours. Loads of you on the phone lines. You've got a 30 day no questions asked money back guarantee. Whether you're jewelry making with the kids, whether you've got that certain person, uh, that zany friend of yours that wants the bright pinks, whether you just want to pick out the individual colours. Maybe you want to make an array of macrame bracelets. Maybe you want to make one in each colour. We can pick out all those individual colours. Three or four in a macrame bracelet is absolutely fine. And you can do them. Uh, you know what, if you want to learn how to do that, go and visit our website, all the w's.jurymaker.com. Uh, you do get a free tutorial DVD with your very first order here at Jewelry Maker. So we welcome Jewelry Makers, a brand new, or Jewelry Makers have been with us right from the beginning. All of you, we love you all. Uh, Valentina's multi bought. Beverly, you've joined us. Lucinda, you've joined us. Nine pounds and 95 pence. SZGC74. Do go and check us out online, all the w's.jurymaker.com. Here, 
is what we're looking like online. You can even watch us live. You can get yourself booked into a workshop. You can click on tutorials. Have a little click of that then. Have a click of a tutorial. Oh yeah, doing a basic loop, things like that. You know, the things that you need to learn. Things that um, perhaps you, you didn't know before. Maybe you're refreshing your memory. Uh, making jewellery, here's a how-to. Whose hands are they then? I think they're Lucy's. Uh, loads of you in for this one. Judith, Jeanette, Dina, June, Francis, Christina, Beverly, uh, Anonymous in Merseyside and Aberdeenshire. I have got Colleen joining us from Gloucestershire. She must be clever. Uh, Lucinda from County London Dairy. Anna, uh, check out your baskets. SZGC74 is your item code. Now, my darling hearts. I think we work in the only place where if people say they're hungry or thirsty, there's bountiful drinks and all sorts. You're hungry. Look, I've got, I've got yeah. Leah's got pasta with yellow pesto in it from Ita Italy. From Italy. Now, uh, where should we go? Let's go to number. Now, this uh, actually, this is a bit of a treat for you from our Danny. Danny said, We always do nugget bundles. What if they've got those odd ones that have never been in a nugget bundle before and they're just waiting for those ones? Why don't we do those ones? So that's what we're doing. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Now, have a look at this opal. Oh my goodness. I love fire opal. Why do you love it so? I love the colour, the graduation of colour. And it is just like fire. And then you get that flash through it. And it just amazes me. Absolutely amazes me. But I do love optical properties and I love, I love the variety. I, I just find it stunning and it can go with all sorts. I mean, you might guess I like, I like the colours with the hair colour, you know. But uh, no, I absolutely adore it. And if you put that with some of that peridot, oh my goodness, Ooh, what a pop that. Where is it? that would be. I think Amelia's stolen it, haven't you? Have you still got it? Oh yeah. I mean, how amazing would that I look? I never would have thought of that and it does, it works beautifully. Yeah. That's like me and you combined. <laughs> Working beautifully, absolutely. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. It's been a bit of a Kenny Rogers week this week. Now, just in general, uh, I'm also <laughs> going to give you... Blackberry Tug Quartz. Brilliant oh, nice. for adding that elegance of mono, uh, mono, monotone. Is what I'm trying to say. I was going to say monochrome. No, monochrome. Monochrome, right. right. That yeah. was right. And I nearly said monorail. See it all. <laughs> monorail. <laughs> monorail. Now, <laughs> have you seen that? Simpsons. Monorail. Monorail. I do a great Patty and Salma. Now these, I just need. Marge. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Have a look at these. Aquamarines. Oh, that's my favourite. Oh. I love it. Look at that colour, look at the glow. And then look, do you know what the best thing to do with aquamarine is? Put it next to some neon appetite. Hello! Oh, yeah. Mediterranean. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah. Have you got a suitcase on wheels? I have. Let's go then, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Only one of the wheels fell off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got a wonk on now. <laughs> A wonky, yeah. I want donkey. Wonky. Then you've got big pieces of rose quartz. I love this. Do you know what? There's gemstone for every season here. Perfect for mm. any age group. Look at those. They're super duper autumnal, aren't they? They're so good in your autumnal pieces. These are just blooming gorgeous for the summer. And then you've got the black root oil quartz for any season. So you need them. QHGC05 should be a wonderful 1975. However, my dear hearts and jewellery makers, 12 pounds and 50 pence. Utter lunacy, that's what it is. 12 pounds and 50 pence, two pound 50 a strand. Grab Bonkers. it and run. It's one of those grab it and run deals before the boss sees. 0800 644 is a free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline. Uh, if you're not dialing from the UK, 
then you could perhaps be online. Just to click the scroll down menu on your right hand side, change to your currency. You can of course shop online if you're, no matter where you are. Uh, 25 channels, now down to 24, these are absolutely flying out. Fire Opal, Appetite, Rose Quartz, Black Root Dark Quartz and Aquamarine. You've got to be up there with some of your list of favourites. Jeanette, Lucinda in County London, Derry, Nikki in Somerset, Belinda, you've got two. Jennifer, Darren, you've got yours. Uh, Jane in Kent, Tracy in Cheshire. Uh, Jen, Jen is sh uh, shopping from Gwent. How is that lovely place? Anonymous in uh, Merseyside and Oxfordshire, could you be Mark Smith? £12.50. <laughs> Anonymous from Oxfordshire. Uh, yeah, Annette in Dorset, you've got yours. Anonymous in Warwickshire, you've got yours. Elizabeth in Ayrshire, you've got yours. QHGC05, looks like we are heading for a sellout, my dear jewellery makers. Think about what you can do with these. Maybe you're gonna put these on memory wire. Chips and Nuggets, Mark Smith indeed is a huge fan. In fact, some might say he was an addict of Chips and Nuggets. And um, he is a huge fan. Memory wire and Alison Terry is working with a bit of memory wire right now. It's well, it's not actually, it's just ordinary. What are you doing over there, love? You can either have it scrunched up or pull it up your arm, and that's why everybody needs some tarry time. 12 50, eight chances. I don't know where she gets these ideas. Well, do you have great dreams, like brilliant dreams? Do you wake up and go, yes, that was a great sleep? Well, I've, I've got a book by my bed because I, I do have. have ideas and I, I'll jot them down. Or do you wake up at 3am and go Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes yeah, when you read it back they make absolutely zero sense. Oh I, I jot things or just draw things very very roughly but I, I yeah I have to because I've got terrible memory and if I woke up then later I wouldn't remember what I'd done. Oh, I had a brilliant idea but I don't know what it is and that used to drive me wow. nuts. Wow you're like Einstein. No. <laughs> not by a long shot. Einstein's school report said he'll never amount to, to anything. Do you know that? I did. Yeah. How, what, and he was how amazing. How stupid must you feel now? Well, obviously not now. Given him his report, yeah. Can you imagine? Three chances left, 12 pounds and 50 pence now. 50 pence. 50 pence. Which number, darling? Numero uno. I like this. You're gonna love this to Topaz. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Topaz. Hey, 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 Mr. Topaz. Mr. Topaz. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Little faceted ovals. Oh, how stunning are they? Oh. I love sky blue topaz, oh, do you? I love all the topazes. I absolutely adore all the topazes. Is it colours. topazes or topi? Like oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Tope <laughs> or not tope? That is the question. All the colours of topaz. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you said it. But topazes. <laughs> I absolutely... Absolutely. We could have called the kitten Topaz. That <gasps> would have been good. Have a look. That's what I'm going to do. Get a blue roan pony and call it Topaz. Have a look. Have a look at this colour. Absolutely wonderful. The facet. Now we don't get it. A prong set it in a ring. I would put it in a gorgeous cuff bracelet, really delicate one, in a small scale Laura binding. And I would definitely use it alongside this gorgeous. What a combination. Hats off to Danny. He's really getting it, isn't he? You're really getting it. You can see his Parisian roots coming out here, can't you? Gold wire and you are away. You see, there's nothing larger gemstones as focals in your shoes and wiring <gasps> round it. Absolutely nothing to stop you doing that, having a few larger gemstones on it. Oh. Nothing to stop you. How Vivian much Westwood look? might try and stop you. I think she's quaking right now. And they'd look amazing on those black mm. shoes. Oh, they are gorgeous. <laughs> I love this bundle. I love it. Yeah. 
it isn't going to be a tiny price like it's tote we don't get a lot of topaz you know that Alison we shop I here I, I would definitely try and put one of those in a ring maybe a trilogy ring on the smaller ones I don't know um, I'm working on it you what sorry I'm working on your trilogy are you yes I love this lady <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not today, mind, but I am working not today, on it. Mind. <laughs> not right now. No, not right now. I can't wait. Make sure I'm there that day you bring that one out. Should be 27. Like, no, no, that's good. No. That's, you've got, you've got topaz, that's fine. Drop You're going to get me into trouble. He's going to get us in trouble today. Trouble, 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 trouble. I'm still on holiday, who cares? Drop it. Who's on holiday? <laughs> Me, I'm still on holiday. Oh, okay. Ish. You're on that mode. <gasps> <laughs> that is a club, Tropicana, drinks a free kind of price tag, 19 pounds. No, you've put up buy one, get one free. You didn't tell me, and you put it up. You are such a rascal. You're the rascally sort. I knew when I saw you, you're the rascally sort. <laughs> JVG, C, you're a rap scallion. JVG C68. This is absolutely it's a beautiful. bag of uncrushed nuts. Mad, mad walnuts, of course. 1995. Unbelievable, it's nuts. I absolutely love those two colours together. That is just so rich to me. Absolutely glorious. I, uh, and like I say, we go wire. Together uh, they amazing. are. Oh, they're just. Look at the heavenly to go. I definitely want those. I, I, I think these are going to, I want them. I need them. I think they're so beautiful. Yeah. Loads of you on my phone lines, 40 carats of blue at Topaz, 60 carats of amethyst. This really is an outstanding deal. Do not miss this deal. 19.95. Loads of you in. JVG C68. Pamela, you've got yours in Mama's chair. Uh, one PMP for you because you've already ordered today, haven't you? Uh, and don't forget that if you're adding to your order, you only pay two ninety five once, right up until uh, midnight tonight. Jane in Kent, Margaret, Aberdeenshire, Jennifer in Gwent, the Queen of popping lots of things in her basket today. Kay in Aberdeenshire, uh, Rosalie, Nikki, you've got yours. Um, uh, definitely taking advantage of your um, one PMP as well. Gore, just gorgeous. I love that together. That topaz is lovely, isn't it? Icelandic I sky blue. Too. I actually think this would look quite nice with silver as well. Yeah, you could you could do it with silver. You could certainly do mm. it with silver. Yeah. Oh, I love that. You could do it with They're black. They're very nice together, those colours, aren't they? Very good. Together. Oh, they just go perfectly. They're so elegant together. Mm. You can just imagine the sort of lady that would wear those colours. Very, very elegant, very they're, sophisticated. They're very design, very, very you know you'd expect to see them on a red carpet mm. those two mm, colours mm, together mm. wouldn't you absolutely they're almost like the tiffany and co um lamp kind of colours the new yeah, ones yeah. aren't they beautiful just beautiful well done to everybody that managed to grab theirs i'm super duper jealous that's for absolute sure now i'm gonna get oh i love that do we have to get away from it <laughs> gorgeous now i'm gonna give you actually danny um said that i remember you said this earlier now if that was a little bit out of your price range, but that was a good price, Danny. Dan's going to give you um, an alternative. Perhaps if you're just starting to make you silver, silver moonstone, I love it. Ooh, Do you think it sounds moonstone. quite romantic? Silver moonstone. Ooh, by that's the light. No, don't sing, Alison. That's Are a bad you singing? Sing no, to me. no, on, no, Alison. I didn't I love sing. A song. No, you don't like my song. I do. Not my voice. You don't like my song. I do. I love your song. All the viewers will switch off. Well, look what they've done to my song, Ma. Have you heard that song? Look what they did to my song. No? Okay, never mind. I've heard that for a it's long country time. Country and western song, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Never mind. It's an age thing. I, uh, I've got to apologise to everyone in Gwent last week. I have. What? Sorry about uh, singing Stand By Your Man at the top of my voice. Excellent. <laughs> oh, it was a good old day. Have a look at this. Look at that silver moonstone. <gasps> I love it. I've not seen silver moonstone before. Where have you been during a silver moonstone? That's lush. Isn't it lush? Mm. There's some nice ring ones in there as well. They are gorgeous. Almost a little bit labradorite but not because it's got the shiller. Mm. Like a silver shiller. Look at that one on your finger. 
the slightly darker one on your middle finger. That's oh a yeah, beautiful ring waiting to happen. That is. That is. Then you're gonna get lovely strand of amethyst. It's not the same as, as the last one. These are longer. That's lovely together, isn't mm. it? That's like every cloud has a silver lining, isn't it? Oh yeah. There's lavender fields by our house, and I do often when I need a time to myself because I've driven my own self crazy. Go and sit there and dust the purples. They're just like this. They are hitching lavender fields, and it's just amazing. I mean, beautiful, and you can. You can just really appreciate nature when you see strands like this amethyst, can't you? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We're going to give you. We, we should be at fourteen ninety. Actually, come on, that's great, isn't it? You got moonstone, by the way. Oh, two birth gemstones. You got June's birth gemstone, one of them in the moonstone. February's birth gemstone in the amethyst. That's really nice to entwine. Maybe those two birth gemstones, the two birth gemstones, are somebody dear to your heart, and you think, oh, I'd love to wear a piece of jewellery with their birth gemstones in. Or your children. Your children, yeah. Absolutely. Nine ninety five for both, less than five pounds a strand. You know what to do, get it in your life. These will be amazing cufflings. You've got just loads of these. You can make earrings out of these, you can make bracelets, you can make necklaces. The the possibilities are endless, aren't they? Only as fixed as your imagination. Nine ninety five for non phenomenal value. Thirty days in your money back guarantee, and you're not going to pay any extra on your two ninety five PMP. You only pay that once, doesn't matter how heavy your basket is getting. And uh, there are a few of you who've got pretty heavy bars. It's Jennifer and Gwen talking to you. Uh, TBG C13 is your item code. Beautiful ovals, 60 carats of the amethyst, 65 of the silver moonstone, 995 for the both of them. I think that's just a grand price tag, isn't it? Wonderful. You can use your credit card as well as your debit card. You can. That's a good thing, isn't it? You can. You can. 995. Queen of that credit card, me. Now. Let's go for, just hitch myself down a bit. Look what they did to my song, ma. It's going to be in our head all day, isn't it? Thanks. It's a nice <laughs> song. Could be worse. Thanks for that. Could be Crazy Frog. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, everybody stop. Even Alison Terry, the queen of, re of pink <laughs> resistance, so loves pretty. this strand. Now, it's got certain... Do you know what? You can instantly recognise this being quite high-end pink. You can look at some pinks and you can think children and sort of bubblegummy pinks. This isn't. This is a... This is a very subtle, very classy, yet very grown feminine. Up. It's grown-up pink. Look at that. That's your pink champagne, isn't it? Mm. What a gorgeous strand this is. Look at the sparkles. Look at the facets. Are these for earrings for you? Would you section, just a little section? Mm. Would you put it in a ring? Perhaps. Yeah. Would be nice, wouldn't it? And then have some gold. Mm. What would you do? with yours. Alison, when you get strands like this, do you keep it that's quite sparingly or is it something you think, no, I'm going to make one big project out of that? It really does depend on why I've bought it. Um, if it is, is it for a commission, you know, if someone asks for something or is it, or is it, you know, something for me? I've got a few strands that are sitting at home and I'm like, oh, I want to use that, but I'm not quite sure. And then I've had other strands, like I made my niece, uh, sapphire and you could do it with the pink sapphire oh. bracelet with with the square wire so i'd square wire either side and these the sapphires exactly in the middle which, i know which one you're talking about yeah. i know which bracelet you're yeah. talking about it was amazing and you banded it didn't yeah, you? you had sections absolutely. of it yeah oh my gosh and is that on your facebook page where did i see um, that i did one i did one for you a, did one here i did one here yeah. and i did her i did hers because i did one here and, and i think i had garnets and some rough sapphires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you I did, you did have the little yeah, rough sapphires, that's yes. That's right. And I did one at home for her, with, it was just very, because she does very delicate, my niece. So it's just two stra two, two uh, things of, of square wire, and then the row of those in the middle, and bind them, I suppose it was about two centimetre sections, and it's ever so delicate. But you could stack them to make them thicker. You could have quite, oh, a, yeah. quite several of them banded together, 
or even fasten them together so that they, you had one big cuff of them with all those with different coloured sapphires and Lush. stuff in the middle. Absolutely gorgeous. Lucky Jade. Th those are beautiful. Aren't these beautiful yeah. pink sapphires? They're quite hard to get pink sapphires because they're a very fine line between a pink sapphire and a ruby actually. Mm. Because uh, they're from the same family. Look, these have got clarity too. They're, they're much bigger than a lot of pink sapphires that we've had. We've had the very teeny, teeny, teeny weeny ones. Uh, I've got That's some gorgeous. lovely yellow sapphire as well. This goes with so well. I mean, imagine these together in that bracelet that Alison was talking about. Oh, rhubarb and custard. Oh, and now you're talking. You know <laughs> I'm a big rhubarb and custard fan. Look at that. Mmm. Beautiful. Isn't that stunning? We got a text in. Uh, from Michelle in uh, Greater Manchester. I've literally taken delivery of this strand today and it's beyond gorgeous. I've just ordered another. It's like uh, mauve pink, lush. Thank you, Michelle. I can see where she's coming from with that. Yeah, it's, it's that. this wonderful, there's um, actually, it's got this, this glow to it. Yeah. And I would say, you can see it's, it's got a sort of player chroism, a tri to it. So you've got these wonderful colors. It's said to possess a magical power to influence the spirits, this sapphire. Uh, oh. It is, of course, September's birth a gemstone. And it has got a, a player credit property. It's a gift for the fifth wedding anniversary, the 45th and the 70th. Isn't it absolutely stunning? It's gorgeous. Beautiful, isn't it? And you know what Beautiful. I'm going to say? You've got, you've got that peridot there. Oh yes, I have. What? Um, how many? Have you been married two years yet? A year? No, not yet. A year. <gasps> When's your wedding anniversary? Twenty sixth of October. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, of course it is. <gasps> oh, Alison Terry. <laughs> not November. What are you going to do? Paper, isn't it? <laughs> paper, yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Money's paper. <laughs> you can uh, you can write, you can uh, name a star. Oh, that comes my paper sister bought me, she bought me, um, I actually own a bit of the moon. What? She bought me a, a thing and it can, you can buy a bit of the moon. So I own a, I own a parcel of land on the moon. Now you need Fab. to keep that because one day oh, yeah. people will be living on the oh. moon. You'll be like, get off my land. That's mine. <laughs> you can charge them that rent. <laughs> Danny, mental note, buy <laughs> bit of moon. So I can pass it down to my future grandchildren who may want to live on the moon. I actually think that's... Uh, nobody else allowed to do it. Why did I say it out loud? <laughs> Look at those two together. That, Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? And you could do something like that. Have a strip of... A, a small strip of the, the pink and then two or three dangling down of, of the peridot, then some sapphire, then a little bit of peridot. I love it. Mm. It's beautiful, I love that. that. Danny said it's so lush, I want to eat it. <laughs> I love it. Around a little ankle like Kat is. <gasps> little anklet. Yeah. Big How fab would you that and your be? little ankles would look gorgeous in this. Oh, you've got a friend who's got little teeny ankles like Kaz. <laughs> yeah, give me your ankle, Kaz. <laughs> give me those little birdie Thanks, ankles. Thanks, Amelia, she says. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm not letting her on air. She's got an Arsenal t shirt on. <laughs> My mum's an Arsenal fan. <laughs> huh? Your mum's at Kate's. That's why I don't like him, because she used to, that's the only time my mum has ever sworn in her life, when watching Arsenal. DKJN69, £34 and 95 pence of this beautiful pink sapphire. 35 carats, and this is a precious gemstone. And, and that counts for a lot, doesn't it? We're going to a brand new record low. Oh God, what is he doing to me today? You've got another job lined up, have you? 29.95, get it in your basket, quickly check it out, and don't whisper a word to anybody ever. 29 pounds, 95 pence. My producer's literally gone crazy today. I don't know what's up with him. Maybe he's in love. Aww. Is that what's wrong with you? Which one is it? <laughs> Which one of the 10 is it? Twenty-nine pounds ninety-five pence. I reckon it's. <laughs> what do you mean, well, uh... Now he's worried. <laughs> it's Brighton Girl. No. 
Sorry, it's not Brighton Girl. Twenty nine ninety five. D K J N sixty nine. Twenty nine pounds ninety five pence. Oh eight hundred six triple four. The thing is, don't tell me all of your gossip when I'm behind the camera. You do tell it me. Going on in your life. You even text me at eleven thirty to say I'm making pasta for tomorrow's lunch. He doesn't tell you his secrets, does he? Yeah. Or doesn't he know yet? No. <laughs> Not to tell Jenny secrets. Don't tell me secrets, Danny. Unless they're really serious. Twenty nine ninety five. D K J N sixty nine. Just gorgeous. Can we do the yellow sapphire now? Because I actually think the medley of the three <gasps> is divine and heavenly. If you're meeting me in heaven, bring these three with you. <laughs> the yellow sapphire, the pink sapphire, and the peridot I've got all together here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we're going to give you a price slash on the yellow sapphire as well. Yellow sapphire can be very expensive. Go and have a little bit of a gander on yellow sapphire. Go and have a little bit of a, a, um, a research with it. I actually think it'd be really nice for the bees. What about a yellow sapphire bracelet, a charm bracelet with the bees? Oh, little honey bees. Little honey bees. They you like don't, yellow. You could do just, just one sitting on it, couldn't you? I love it. Wouldn't that be fab? Just one little bee going, ooh, thank you. Mmm, -hmm. mm, honey. Love that. I love this yellow as well. It's super sparkly. It's really beaming with, with sunshine, it seems. Look at that sparkle. Look at that colour. Just exceptional. Can you see when it's against the skin, it just goes, mm. oh, they're like yellow diamonds, aren't they? Do you know what? I was just thinking that the sparkle from here was like diamonds. I wonder why they're so sparkly. Little teeny weeny 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 facets. Loads of luster coming from them. They seem to be very fiery, these two, don't they? Of course, the, these are sapphires, so they are again September's birthstone. If you wanted to make our rhubarb and custard piece that we were quite <laughs> fond of, we all like a suck on a rhubarb and custard, don't we? Or a rosy apple. I've got lots of rhubarb in my garden at the Pineapple moment. cubes. Oh, pineapple. Retro sweets. That's what it's all about today. Or oh, me and you could own a Cola sweet shop. Cola cubes. Cola cubes. <gasps> those little pips. <laughs> what are they called? Rainbow pips. Yes. I love those. They're dangerous because you can tip loads of them in your mouth. Sherbet crystals. Yes. Sherbet fountains. <sighs> Sherbet UFOs. Yeah. Love them. Oh, we had some of those at the wedding. Oh, I love them. How many of them can you get in your mouth? <laughs> I can get a whole cone of them. You know, they sell them in cones. Oh, you I can't. can literally fit that, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a Muppet, Alison. Oh. So let's get a hold of our gorgeous yellow sapphire beaming with sunshine and gorgeousness. They should be at 24.95. They look phenomenal with the pink sapphire. They look amazing together with the peridot. They're going to look great with smoky quartz as well if you want to sort of, if you want to make that sort of bumblebee piece. Smoky quartz would be divine, wouldn't it? Absolutely gorgeous with some smoky quartz. Put them on a bit of wire and make a little honeycomb and then stick the little bee in the middle. Ooh. And have that as a little pendant or little earrings. How fab would that be? Oh, so you said honeycomb, just do the, the, the hexagon, pentagon, hexagon. Sammy, Friday. Can I tell Danny or not? I've seen it. I haven't seen no. it. <laughs> Sammy, why haven't I seen it? Do you know what I'm going to say then? Yeah. Shall I tell everyone or should we no, make it a surprise? No, keep, keep it a surprise. Oh You've got to gosh. watch. You've got to watch on Friday. You've just got to watch. I can't give you a clue with Michael Parkinson. It's not happening. <laughs> 29, do you remember that? Give us a clue with Michael Parkinson. Do you remember that? No. No, not give us a clue. No, it was that. No, not blankety blank. No, it's, it wasn't Michael Parkinson. It was what's his name? Short guy, hair. Not the comedian. No. In, oh no, that's say what you see. He used to be a dancer as well. <laughs> Darling, what was his name? Give us a clue. With <laughs> oh, that's going to annoy me all day. If you know Lionel, the answer, text him. Lionel, Lionel Blair. Lionel Blair. Yeah. Give it's us a clue, and, they, and it used to be like um, you know, like charades. Oh right. You don't remember that celebrity charades? No. Was I the only one that watched it? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Maybe I made it up in my head. Oh no. 
Half of my life is imaginary. Uh, £21.95 for your gorgeous yellow sapphire. If you remember, give us a clue with... What was his name again? <laughs> no, that wasn't it. That, give us a clue. I'm sure it was with Michael Parkin. Maybe I made it up. Oh, no. Please text in. Put her out of her misery. I'm sure. Can you Google it for me? Give us a clue, <laughs> Lionel Blair. Now, I'm going to give you... Uh, solar quartz, yes. Look at this. Have you got this strand? Yes, it is. it's not made Which up. Strand? Yes, it was real. <laughs> What's it? Sometimes you panic. Yeah, I've got some of that. Yes, I know you have. I love Why, it. Why, what, where, how? I've got, I've got a piece like that, and I've got, I've got the um, rough edged as well, and I love them both. And I've made an absolutely stunning brooch. Did you? I, yeah, I made a fantastic brooch with it. Um, I've made a neck piece with it. Um, and I've set one in the ring, one of the rough ones, into a ring. Oh, yeah. Love, love, love it. I always think you can see different things inside solar quartz. Oh, you can. You? you can. Look, that one there, it's got a little pussycat on the front. This one? Yeah, look, a little yeah. pussycat on the front. <laughs> love and that. And a butterfly next to it. Butterfly! Yes! Almost. Don't ever give me those ink spots. I see all sorts. <laughs> and me, I do too. I, I love them. This could be a baby in the womb. Oh. You know when they still look like bee, <laughs> uh, like beans? That's going to be its head. It's not oh, quite formed gorgeous. yet. <laughs> I like stuff Wouldn't like that. Wouldn't that be a fab prezzy for someone who's just, just found out that Got they were pregnant? Up oh. Like who? I'm not going to say that rumour. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's why Kaz is leaving. <laughs> 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 I knew Lord Merlin. Hey, good breeding there. No. He's left, he's gone. No. Sorry, get on with some work, Alison. <laughs> We're missing Lord Merlin a bit. He's not here no more. Oh, no. We need somebody to make us feel like we're not as good as them. You know, like Lord Murley <laughs> strutting in here, asking us for his taxes and stuff. <laughs> like the Sheriff of Nottingham. Have a look. Love that strand. Oh, I love it. It also I reminds me of tie-dye and batik mm. and things like that. Mm. It's quite hippie, isn't it, as well? I like that. Can you? What can you see in yours? We've seen cats or teddy bears, butterflies, all sorts of things you can see. Look at that one. They're just every single one's unique and yeah. beautiful. I agree. I think it's so nice never to know exactly what you're yeah. going to see. And you'll always have your favourite on a strand. If we turn them over, they're different on the other side. Yeah. You'll always have your favourite, won't you? Have a look. Which one's yours? Have you got yours yet? That could be a J there, look. <laughs> yeah. And an I. Or a dolphin. Oh, it's a dolphin, you're right. Yeah. She says turning her head. <laughs> Dolphiny sharky. F-E-R-U-91, you've got watermelon solar quartz. 1995. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw uh, eleven on my strands. You should have there or thereabouts. Pendants, rings, uh, bracelets, why work yeah. bracelets. There's just so much you can do with these at under 20 pounds. We've only got 10 left. Beautiful, isn't it? Really wonderful. And it's been one of our most um, popular, hasn't it, of all the newer strand solar quartz. Uh, you're all loving it. So there'll be lots of pictures, I'm sure, on Facebook and on the Wall of Fame actually inspiring you with these gemstones. At 19.95, you've got such a wonderful price tag. F-E-R-U-91, 250 carats, 16 by 12 uh, to... Now, the reason these are so different is because they've got that... Um, can you see how they, they're structured around the inclusion? So every single one, a little bit like a fossil, is going to be different. Look at that. And I think it's absolutely fascinating, isn't it? I love the way they're made. And if, as you go, uh, go back to the canals, as you go through the tunnels, you can see the little baby ones hanging down, <gasps> the little stalagmites. And, because the water drips through. Yeah. So you've got little teeny thin ones. And I'm Are like, you like this? Oh, so <laughs> quartz. No. <laughs> they're not quartz. They're, they're, they're usually, um, I can't think, they, I can't think what, they, what they are, but they're not quartz. But you can see them. And I always look at those and I think that's how they're made. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It absolutely amazes me. There's some, have you ever seen the caves where they actually, the big ones grow? No. 
And they're incredible. Is it like going to Superman, where he lives? Krypton. Kryptonite. Krypton. Like all these crazy big yeah, giant probably, icicles probably. everywhere. Yeah, probably. But you, so looking at where they go is incredible. Absolutely amazing when you see them. Even Alice and Terry looked at me weird then, like, what's she on about I'm then? <laughs> Do, was it that noticeable? Tonight. <laughs> Sorry, but you're Jenny. normally on my wavelength. There. I know I wasn't there. Sorry. You you haven't watched Superman in a I long have, time. I have. I have. I don't remember seeing stalactites and stalactites in Krypton. You were thinking about it though. Are you thinking of when he's in the ice cave? Yeah. Ah. Is that not where he comes from? No, that's on Earth. <laughs> that's the myself, North Pole. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a bit that's short. Why, that, wasn't that's it? why no. I love Alison Tari, everyone. <laughs> no. Let's give you some Rainbow Moon stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alison Tarry, be prepared. Uh oh. If you don't want to fall in love, close your eyes now. Can I stay in love with who I've already got? Look, look. <sighs> it's a gemstone oh. love affair. Oh. See, how can you not love that? Oh, I love that. <laughs> Maybe Cass doesn't, but <laughs> Cass. look at that. That's gorgeous. June's birth gemstone. A gemstone said to aid fertility. <laughs> Be careful, Cash. You've had too much moonstone in your back pockets lately. <laughs> It's a gemstone that's been set into jewellery uh, since uh, the Roman times. It's absolutely. This is a breathtaking example, this is. And it's big as well. Because normally, if you get that much iridescence, they'd be smaller, yeah. wouldn't they? But you're not, you're getting it. Uh, I'm, I'm putting everything with this peridot today. What about that blue topaz? What about that blue topaz, topaz. with this? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, look. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, now you're talking. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Ooh, ice wedding. Winter wedding. Any wedding, really. I'll take, well, yeah, I'll take yeah, yeah, any, yeah, wedding, any wedding, to be fair. I ain't fussy. <laughs> now, this. June's birth gemstone. I think it sounds nice. Moonstone. Ooh, what are you wearing? Oh, it's moonstone. Doesn't sound romantic, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that just luscious? Just gorgeous. SBRU92 is your item code. Use your debit card or use your credit card if you're shopping with us here today. £11.95 going down. Downtown. Downtown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eight ninety five. I can't even believe that. Eight pounds ninety five pence. SBR. Th th these really are breathtaking. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They certainly are. I can say that from here. Gorgeous. Oh, and the iridescence is very striking. Yeah. That that wonderful. Well, what do you, you you can see why they use this uh, gemstone as the pendant in the el of of the elvish in the Lord of the oh, Rings. Oh gosh, yes. It's got this magic to it. It's like unicorns, which, by the way, I do think are true. The and unicorns. mermaids. Gorgeous. You know that magic. Unicorns and fairies and all sorts of things like that. I Absolutely. love it. Jean loves it too. So does Jenny, Belinda, uh, Anonymous in Northamptonshire, Anne in Aberdeenshire, Jan, Kellyanne, Tracy, Jeanette, you've got yours. Anne in Aberdeenshire. Sue in Wiltshire, you've got yours. Isn't this a wonderful price tag for Moonstone? This is genuine Moonstone. We're going to be catching up with Alison uh, momentarily on her challenge uh, today. Pearly challenge. How are you going with your pearly challenge? Oh, all right, ish. Look, look, look at this. I'll refresh your memory on that pearly chat. Oh, we've sold out of the pearly chat. We oh, sold out of the pearls. They were ridiculously priced. They were crazy. Absolutely. Don't forget to add this blue topaz to your basket if you're getting these. Gorgeous. Now we're all going to be singing. When you're in trouble, what's the beginning of that? Mm -mm, you can always go downtown. Do you know that song, Kaz? 
You've heard We've of got it. a text from Catherine. Do you know, I've heard of it. Uh, Catherine in Devon. Hi, Jenny. You're not going mad. Lionel Blair was captain of the men's team. And Una Stubbs, yes, oh. the lady with that gorgeous hair. I remember. Yes, 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 of the women's team. Uh, and give us a clue. And it was Michael Parkinson who was the host. Yes, thank you so much. Danny says, no, no I'd like to tell you, you are still going mad. I'm not. Una Stubbs, Aunt Sally. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, she is, yeah. isn't she? She's still gorgeous. Yeah. I haven't seen her in years. Aunt Sally. She remember was in Big that? Brother, wasn't she? Oh, was she? Yeah. Gorgeous. Peter Purvis. Peter Purvis? Peter Purvis. No, not Peter Purvis. John Pertwee. Who's John Pertwee? In, in, uh, he was See, a scarecrow and she was Aunt Sally. I love Wurzel Gummidge. Wurzel Gummidge. <laughs> I love that. I love Wurzel Gummidge. Do you know what Wurzel Gummidge is, Kaz? hasn't got a clue what we're talking about. No clue. No culture, these kids. They've got, they've got no culture. No culture. Never tasted a rhubarb and go, don't know you're born. You know you're born, Kaz. There with your Sega Mega Drive. Now, do you remember that with Alex Ooh. Kidd? Yeah. Now, where should we go? Still got one in the attic. Downtown. Listen to the rhythm. So I'm going to give you a little refresher. Oh, a refresher. That's what those those they are like peach refreshers. ones and the yes. yellow ones are like refreshers. I love. Do they still do refreshers? Fizzy they refreshers. They do. You ever put them in in your drink? Call oh yeah. Fizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. They are talking. <laughs> Didn't do that in the 90s, did you, Kaz, when you was growing up? It's an 80s thing. Stay away from the refreshers, they're ours. Look at these. Look at these. Very oh, jealous oh, of Kaz sorry. with a youth. Look at that. These are your rainbow rounds. Do you remember Rainbow Bright whilst we're reminiscing? Now your rainbow rounds are all yours for a wonderful price tag. The rounds are your bread and butter of jewellery making, aren't they? They are your stretchy bracelets. They are your earrings. They are your necklaces. They're there to make your first ever beady bead. They are there to make your first ever wiggle weave. And who doesn't love a good old wiggle weave now? And then we all love a wiggle. <laughs> Perhaps they're there for your ladder weaving. 14.95, SBG C34. We're gonna catch up with Alison in a mo. You want me to quickly squeeze another one in first? If you want those, be uber quick. Number nine, number nine. Oh, right over here. Now, oh, we got our wires crossed, did we? Sorry, love. You can always go downtown. I realise I've never made my son French toast before. Oh, so really? That's going to happen. Eggy bread. Yeah, love it. Bit of salt and peps. Yeah. Are you a savoury French toast eater or a sweet French toast eater? Oh, I'll do either. Me too. I'll do either. It's like pancakes, I'll do either. Oh yeah, me too. Oh yeah. Now, you have got groups of four. We're going to have to be really quick with this. Really high-end, very beautiful aquamarine. Uh, if you're looking for a strand of excellence, if you're looking for March's birth gemstone, if you're looking for a blue, something blue gemstone for your bridal pieces, then here it is. Y w, sorry, WMY, Y16 is your item code. You've got 15 carats in total. They range from five by four to eight by five on a 16 centimeter strand. Uh, 106, uh, triple four, six, double five, they should be, what? What do you mean they should be? That's an amazing price tag. Look at the quality, you're crazy. You're definitely going to get us crazy. into trouble. You're crazy mm. for slashing the prices of gemstones. No, you're not. Alison Tarry. Uh-oh. Look what he's done. Oh, you're joking. Ah, oh, you're joking, you are. You went proper Welsh then, you joking. did. Joking. Ah, oh, you're joking, you are. Can't believe it. Nine pound. That is absolutely bonkers. If, they, if you've got any of those left at the end of the day, I'll have the rest of them. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't know me. <laughs> They're gorgeous. I can't believe it. Crazy. Thanks for my chocolate bar, Tom. I'll remember it. I didn't get one. <laughs> 
That looks a bit weird. It looks like I've got someone else's leg there. <laughs> That's an album cover. Come on, darling. <laughs> an album cover. <laughs> oh, <Toe> down. <gasps> Ooh, trilogy ring. Trilogy <laughs> ring. Trilogy ring. Trilogy ring. Oh my gosh! Look at this, Ali Defoy. That'd look lovely on your skinny little arms. So you can either squash it together, or you could pull it up. It's flexible, so you could actually have it squashed together. Gorgeous. Look at the trilogy ring. Stealing.com. <laughs> and I was kind of going for a little bit of a headpiece, but I ran out of time. I love it. I absolutely love it. 8.95 is it Aquamarine. Oh, you have been Alison Terry. I've been Jenny Cleary. These have been the most amazing shoes anybody's ever seen in their whole entire life. Ali Defoy is up next with some amazing price tags. Stories about bunnies, maybe. And uh, all oh, sorts bunny. of gossip for you. What's on that spinel? Mm -hmm. Gold. <gasps> Silver. Uh, I need it. Stunning. I need it. I need it. I need it. She's How looking hot to trot. Don't go anywhere. We've been Terry oh. and Cleary. Oh. to Jewelry Maker, I'm Ali Defoy. It's great to see you. We have a wonderful show planned for you. You're going to love it. Oh, it's fab. Um, lots and lots coming up. Just me, myself and I tonight. Myself and all the boys. I've got Amelia with me for now, but you're not going to stay all night, are you, Amelia? Oh, no, I wish I was. She can't stay. She's going off tomorrow for the day. She's going to day out. She's Wine cycling tasting. on a day out. Wine tasting. Yes. Nice. In Devon. Yeah. Wine tasting in Devon. Well, 
We don't have that tonight, but what I do have is a 5 pm -er full of gorgeous deals. We have a double deal for you in the 5 pm -er. It's going to be blue quartz. They're dreamy. I've never seen anything like them, actually. They're really, really nice. They're quite cool, quite a sort of turquoise Latimer chilledness. It's really nice. 6 pm -er. I don't know why I did a dance there. 6 pm -er, 700 carats of onyx cabochons. These are delicious. I've got a pendant and a ring made for our amazing beady buddy. So you'll be able to see that throughout the show. In the 7 pm -er, we have, oh my God goodness 65 carats of the most delicious dreamy sparkle tastic citrine briolette drops you're gonna love them and then in the 8 p.m hour we have for you 925 92.5 percent pure sterling silver chain with black spinel it's gorgeous mm. i've also got the same chain but with peridot oh oh yeah do you want to see them both they're fabulous alice and terry you take care we love you. Guest designer Alison's off. Those shoes are amazing. Oh, I will cuddle bunny. Take care. Alison likes my bunny. I've got a wee bunny rabbit called Joey, who I'm in love with. Um, and Alison's just going off. If you want to see Alison's design inspiration, it might be on after the show today. I will keep you up to date. So, Peridot and black spinel both chains are coming up for you tonight the peridot will be a little bit earlier than the black spinel the peridot is going to be in this hour and then the black spinel will be at 8 50 ish pm it will be my last opportunity for you your black spinel so both coming up for you tonight within the next four hours this one or only 30 moments away mm, no even that actually about 25 only 40 of them and the, the pair it was going to be a little bit more limited than the black spinel unfortunately but still available oh 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 lots and lots to look forward to now these nuggets these sort of druzy effect that you're getting in these these are gorgeous these are coming up for us roughly about the six o'clock hour we'll do this about 6 45 just before seven how dreamy are they 300 carats of fasted nuggets. Now it doesn't say Druzy on it. Um, we thought it was going to say Druzy. I'm not sure if that was checked or not. But that's clearly Druzy, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I'm in love. 6.45 we'll be bringing these to you. So, so exciting. These are Druzy nuggets. I don't know whether uh, producer Phil's going to phone and see if we can get that fixed for you. But they are definitely Drews. There's no two ways about it. Oh, yes. Coming up for you at 6.45, roughly. So, lots and lots to do for you tonight on the show. Lots and lots to bring to you. Just to remind in fact, not remind you, just to let you know, actually, these were given to us, especially... I think it's because I'm the only girl on my Todd tonight. I usually am, to be fair, the only girl on this shift. Um, but, but tonight, I don't know whether they felt sorry for me or not. But they've given me a whole load of brand new treats. I've got a whole half hour of brand new opportunities from 8 till half past 8. Amazing tiger's eye, chalcedony, natural pearls, brand new pearls, all coming up for you in the 8 o'clock hour for half an hour. It's going to be awesome. Plus, pretty much every star buy is brand new as well. These are brand new for us. These are brand new back in in stock. Just arrived. 600 of these available for us. 19 by 9 millimeter, and you're getting 100 pieces. They're copper-based, sterile. Uh, sorry, rose gold plating on your copper. They're going really low, under 10 pounds for 100. 6.95 for 100. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Whoops! There it is. Mm -mm -mm. Naughty Defoy. Um, I've got my tartan on today, so I'm feeling a little bit naughty. Ooh, right. Oh, sapphires. Now, there are not many of these, and when you see them, they're so cute. You're going to love them. They're sapphire nuggets. Have you ever seen sapphire nuggets? Nuggets of genuine sapphire. They are treat, uh, treats for us tonight. I like these a lot. I haven't seen them before. What do you think of these? Really gorgeous. 24 centimeter strand, 5 by 3 millimeter to 8 by 6 millimeter. 